Lisa. You're the first one on here. You're going to get Lisa. Thank you. You're the only one on here. This is great. Thank you. <laughs> so I wanted to do this. I wanted to make a video on Landmark Forum for some time now, but I haven't really known the angle that I want to take on this. And I don't really know a lot about it. So why, why I'm even interested in it is because of my experience in rank makers and being one of the whistleblowers of the coaching cult called rank makers, because Ray Higdon, who runs that group would always go on about landmark forum. And I knew there was a lot of disturbing things like seeping through all of rank makers because of landmark and one of them was this story of him rekindling this relationship with his dad and he this this ended up coming into this lore of rank makers and it also so it was I'll, I'll i'll show you the blog post so this was i attended landmark forum and it completely revolutionized transformed my life i reached out to my dad i hadn't had a relationship with him for 13 years and then because of that it is I became the number one income earner in my network marketing company. Because of that, I was not living in scarcity anymore. Because of that, I'm living in abundance on and on it goes. And then there's the reality show, Play to Win. And uh, there's season two, the final one, episode four. There's him and his wife coercing the contestants to do something similar. This is really creepy. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm showing it all today for you. So you can connect the dots yourself see what I'm talking about. He's using this landmark based training even on them. And then and then there's this documentary that apparently it was like it's, it's French. So there's going to be English subtitles. So this is going to be if you joined me when we did that watch party about um, welcome to life, and it was uh, Polish with English subtitles, it's going to be similar to that. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a that's a little bit of the rundown. Hello, champagne hand. And Jen White says, hi, everybody. Good to see you, Julie. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you, I'm going to like, I'm going to like lay out the map of where we're going to go. And this documentary is only an hour long. And I don't know if there's more than one part to this, but I did, you can look for it. And I'm going to put the link up in the description after this video. I should have put it up beforehand. And it's, um, but if you look for Landmark Forum Documentary France, it's the second search result that comes up. So you can see this. And I'm going to, I'll read to you what they they say about this documentary. All right, let's get on with this. So hello, Charlie Hobo. The first thing I want to show you is this. How the hell do I do this? Here we go. All right. This is from Ray's blog post and it's written 2012. So Rank Makers was started, I think, in 2016. I was in in either 2017 or 2018. I got to get this fucking thing here. Every time. I need like another screen. I think that's what I need here. Okay. My thoughts on the landmark training. This is what? This is the bedrock of Rank Makers. This is important. This is important for me to know what I have been a part of, how my mind was so expertly fucked with and how others have has as have as well so and landmark plays a big part in this all right let's get back on here last night i attended a friend's landmark forum night and it reminded me of how i owe this training company here are my quick thoughts on video about landmark training so this is updated september the 1st 2016 Many people ask me, what was the switch? What switched me into high performance mode after being in personal foreclosure and dead broke? And honestly, the landmark form and, and the other landmark training I went through is what did it. How interesting. Isn't that interesting? It wasn't that he was in 11 different multi-level marketing companies and then ended up getting in at pre-launch in Numis. Always attributes it to something. Landmark is this, this constant in this rank maker lore landmark training is what reawakened something inside me to go out and play big and also make a difference so look at this anybody that has watched anything of ray you have heard him say this forever and ever go out and play big and make a difference i wonder if that's landmark language what do you think i mean this is before my time 
I never heard any of this shit until I got into multi-level marketing, into rank makers. I'm wondering if he just purloined that from landmark. Is purloined the right usage of that word? The definition of purloined is the belief in what you have regardless of external acceptance or approval. If you're a rank maker, you know that that's the definition of posture or an ex rank maker or somebody that has seen some of this content. <laughs> it's not the actual definition of posture. I get absolutely nothing if you decide to attend the Landmark Forum after seeing this. Just giving credit where credit is due. Well, well done, Landmark Forum. You've got somebody of high caliber, a person who is known to be um, abuser, predator, and also someone who financially defrauds people. I guess I don't need to say financially. That's just like rep rep repetitive. But you've got him giving you all the endorsements, ringing endorsements. Let's just magnify. How much good you've put into the world. Way to go, Landmark. Do I mean the Landmark cult? This is fantastic. So what do you think a cult leader would respond to? Even this. It's like, what do I, what do I think about the Landmark cult? There have been a few people in my life that when I shared with them that I went through Landmark training, they responded with, isn't that type some type of cult? His reply, LOL. Let me be very straight. Anytime he bold and he put those in all caps, a company or person challenges your lifelong held belief patterns, people are going to want to tear it down to keep their belief structures upheld. Well, that's actually not has anything to do with an organization or a group being accused or just labeled as for what it is a cult. It has nothing to do with your lifelong expectations, putting out the violin, that they're being challenged. It has to do with something as simple as the bike model. Behavior, information, thought, emotional control, and where it goes on the influence continuum. That's what they're talking about, or isn't that some type of cult? Which we're going to see in that documentary that people do say it's a cult. If you're wanting to go to someone to have your existing beliefs upheld, the Landmark Forum probably is not the place for you. This is what I find really interesting. He uses this same language and tactics when he's selling um, that Faith Over Fear Live and also Rank Makers Live events. If you want to stay stuck and not challenge your, you know, zero dollars in your bank account and you want to stay where you are, then this probably isn't the event for you. Same language. And this was 2016, updated 2016, unless I don't know which part was updated 2016. The original post was written in 2012 anyway. So this predates rank makers. <laughs> However, if you want to open access to being something new and powerful, I highly suggest attending the Landmark School. What does that mean? If you want open access to being something new and powerful, this is transformation. This is a red flag of a cult. This is the same bullshit we experienced in multi-level marketing and rank makers. The great thing about look, I'm really excited about looking at this documentary. I have such a hard time saying that word. I don't know why. Is that you can't bullshit a bullshitter. There's like a, in this article, like it says a former Scientologist comments how there's so many things similar to it. And I'm like, well, now you've got anti MLM in here too, chiming in their two cents. <laughs> you can't bullshit a bullshitter. All right. What the landmark training did for me. If you have been on my blog for an extended period of time, you may already know what the landmark forum did for me. I break it down to two major things. This first one is very important, which I mentioned at the beginning, because he would always go on and on about this, do all these trainings. Helped me reestablish a relationship with my dad after 13 years. You can read the original blog post here. We're not going to read the original blog post, but what he would do in countless Ray dailies during in Rank Makers would be, I attended Landmark Forum and they, they said to go contact, you know, your dad or whoever, somebody you need to fix a relationship with. And I hadn't. And so I reached out to him and I reached out to him and thank goodness I did because even though our relationship wasn't healed, at least we have some kind of relationship now. And it's because of that, my business skyrocketed. It's because of that, it cleared out the negative energy or it did something, some mystical thing. When this is a, a structure, this is a fucking script that Landmark does. 
personal development company. What fucking personal development company recently has done really sketchy shit that has been, has documentaries made about it too? <laughs> On the Landmark Forum YouTube channel, just scroll through their videos. We're going to, and you're going to see the same clips from little people, all these different little clips from people, not little people, little clips from people saying, healed my relationship with my mom, with my dad, with my family. This is something that they do. It's like they, you're in a, you're in this seminar, they break you down for four or five hours, give you an assignment, and then you have to go, you know, reach out to someone that you don't want to reach out to fix a relationship. And then it's so transformative. You're going to become something new. Why would you become something new? You are already who you are. Do we all want to work and improve on things? Yes. Do you need to go to something external to break you down in order to build you up into something new? What the fuck does that sound like? Help me learn my automatic programming, which then allowed me to stop starting and stopping in life and actually create worthwhile endeavors. What is that? Join another multi-level marketing company, psychologically abuse and defraud people. That's what it allowed you to do, or you were probably already doing that. So what does that even mean? It means nothing. These are red flags of just these large group awareness trainings. This means absolute nonsense. My automatic programming Oh, let me guess, you're going to, years from now, you're going to have something called the power mind where you teach all of us that we have to reprogram our subconscious before we go to bed at night, right? Because that's what's holding us back. We have to reprogram our subconscious. Fuck off. Without this training, I would never have become the top earner in my network marketing company. You can see my video from right after I attended the advanced landmark training here. So I wanted to show you that. The next thing, here's Landmark's YouTube channel. Check this out. Landmark Forum Father-Son Relationship. Landmark Forum Breakthrough with Dad. Landmark Forum Uniting Family. Landmark Forum Contributing to Others, Landmark Forum Relationship with par Parents, Landmark Forum A New Relationship with One's Mother. I wonder how those relationships are doing if those family members were recruited into Landmark and if they're just as strong as these 37 second, one minute and 32 second testimonials convey, or if it's more bullshit. You know what this looks like to me? This looks exactly like to me, like Mon8 or Rank Makers, having a whole bunch of people do testimonials for your company. You're not, you don't say exactly what you do. Good luck finding more out about Landmark on their YouTube channel. Oh, you don't have a clue. It's all this, all these little snippets of little things that you have to like, well, I'm just curious. It's like curiosity marketing, it stinks of MLM. This is the next thing I want to show you. I'm going to read your comments first here. Okay. Um, champagne hand says, I'm fairly certain they managed to get the second half squashed. Okay. That's probably why I don't believe it ever aired, or at least I've never found it over a decade of searching. Ray's probably getting kickbacks. Absolutely. Ollie's says, hi everyone. I'll be lurking. And Rosie says, oh boy, what a topic. Yeah, this is going to be intense, especially because this tie in with, well, it's not especially for me. It's especially with this tie in with rank makers. This next component, before we watch the documentary, is really important for you to see. But it's really disturbing. So this is a trigger warning. This is a clip from Play to Win Season 2, Episode 4. And it's really fucked up. But this, I see it as um, a direct link to Landmark's training that Ray took. And he embedded like as the bedrock of rank makers and then like continues to like you know control people to coerce them to emotionally manipulate them to psychologically abuse them all for what what do you think all this is for is for him to make more money and now he's doing it with this religious grift but this is you know back when i was in this is play to win season two and a lot of these people i know and and some of them we've just completely lost contact and some of them are still deep in the cult and I hope that they get out one day. So you're going to see him. So just keep in mind what we looked at. We looked at Landmark, him writing this blog about saying after 13 years, 
I reconnected with my dad. Oh yeah. And I wanted to tell you this. He would train on this all the time saying, I thought to myself, I need to be vulnerable. I can't always be a big, tough guy in order to attract people to me. This is how he would speak in order to really attract people to me. I have to be vulnerable. So I decided to share this story of my dad of attending landmark forum and reaching out to my dad after 13 years. And then I became the number one income earner of my network marketing company after I was in personal foreclosure and living, sleeping on my buddy's couch and a million dollars in debt. Oh my God. And then he would say, and I did this speech at this event. And the next time I did an event, a guy came running up to me and said, Ray, because you did this speech and you told me about your dad, I reached out to my dad too. And thank God I did because the next day he died. You can't even make this shit up. The next day he died. Thank God I listened to your speech. So he would say this to us over and over and over again. And we would have an action step. Maybe you should do the same thing, you know. But in this Play to Win season two, episode four, you're going to see him do this and just ugh, let's get through this. And then we'll watch the documentary. All right. We're just going to get right to it. The sound is pretty low and it kind of sucks. But this is getting near the end of the episode. It's 53 minutes into it. And this is after they have done whatever challenge they had to do. And you're going to see this is Ray. Um, I'm not even going to say anything. Let's just watch it together. Is an exercise for you. This is not a challenge. You're not going to be graded. This is 100% for you. And this is where you're going to write a letter to someone. Might be living, may not be that hurt you, someone that um, impacted you in a negative way that you may need to forgive. And I want you to understand this is not for them. This is for you. For me, this actually, this process is what shifted my entire life. So, I've shared some of my story from my days of, of abuse. The, the close of this letter is, I forgive you. And that's you forgiving for yourself. Okay. So that's the exercise. This is, you will not be graded on this. This is for you. You've made it this far. You've been through a lot of stuff. You've jumped through every hoop we've given you. Um, this is to really reward you and for many of you. This will be your breakthrough. This will be the moment that you turn that your life into something completely different. And so okay, we're going to take a break just to pause. And I'm going to comment on this because I know this is really intense and this is a lot. So what you're seeing is him coercing a number of people, telling them that he's doing it for you. He's not giving them the option saying you don't need to do this. I know this could be incredibly triggering. This might not be something that you want to do. He's saying, I'm doing this for you and you're doing this for yourself. You will write a letter to someone. These are people that are already brainwashed. These are victims. You will write a letter and you will forgive them. You're going to write a letter to someone that has hurt you. And you see already what people, their expressions, they don't want to do this. They're very uncomfortable. But when you're in multi-level marketing, and especially when you're in rank makers, your boundaries are completely blown apart. You don't, I, I just did an interview today with someone, um, which you will be seeing on their channel coming up. And you don't know where the world ends and where, where the world begins and you end. That is blown to smithereens. There are no boundaries. They're just going to do exactly what they're told. They think that if they have any resistance to this, that this is their limiting beliefs. They're self-sabotaging themselves. And look, at you've heard my abuse. I did this. For many of you, this will be your breakthrough. For many of them, this will traumatize them. And this will fucking haunt them. This is just another thing that he has done to hurt people over the years in a long, long, long line of people. Thank you, Landmark Forum, for contributing 
to this shit show. I'm going to put it at 1.25 speed because it's going to get really fucking intense. Benjamin is here. Hello, Benjamin. So good to see you. Okay, let's get back on here. Speed it up. So we're going to give you a few minutes and um, good luck. I sped it up to 1.5. This was much easier to write than to read. Uh -huh. Jen, 22 years later, I find myself in a life changing way. I know our marriage wasn't all bliss. Keep in mind, Ray has said this is for each of these contestants, and yet every one of them will comply and they'll be videoed. Some of the some of this information, which I've said before, and I'll continue to say it, it's held as collateral against them. That's why you won't see more people speaking out. This is damaging enough. So a lot of these letters were videoed in there, and everybody's video. It was vid their letters were videoed in its entirety. They had no choice. They're on a reality show. They all respect Ray. They're in more than one cult at a time, and Rank Makers is like the mother. Rank Makers is like the fucking Amway of MLM. That's like Rank Makers is like the fucking um, coaching cult of all fucking MLM coaching cults. You know, it's like the Amway of all coaching cults. That's what I'm trying to say. So here you have a grown man and he's a vet, a veteran. I've covered this and he's breaking down crying. And this is what they want to see. This is what they want people to do. This isn't transformation. This is breaking someone down. This is a cult tactic. And we're fucking going there. We're we're going to, this needs to be exposed. People need to see exactly what's going on. It's not okay for people to say, well, you know what, Julie, you never took our course. Some people have a bad reaction. No, people don't say any of this shit about McDonald's or anything else. People just don't have a bad reaction. People just aren't getting, well, some people got abused and are completely have a psychotic break from it, but I didn't. I feel it really transformed my life. Shut the fuck up. Do you hear yourself? How can you be a part or defend something where there is a detritus of people, your friends, your family? You, how can you, how can you think that it's okay that what the fuck did you learn? You say something before you go to bed at night and then you're more positive. You stand like this and that you're more confident when you go have a job interview. Really? That's worth it. It's not worth it. This isn't okay. This stuff needs to be talked about. It needs to be openly challenged instead of buried under all this bullshit, this more toxic positivity. I can't wait to get in this fucking documentary. I am so jacked up. <laughs> Benjamin, fuck. <laughs> I need your music, Benjamin. When are you going to get your, you're going to release your single so we could, I could be playing that in the background. Fuck. I know that many of my own failures led to the failure of our marriage. But today we were asked to, for our own benefit to raise and continue to take place even today. Man, you guys keep doing this stuff, man. They're burning the letters. I'm. But that was never enough. And that I needed to work at your team. Your so when you're getting coaching from someone, or there's some kind of uh, large group, or you're in a group, and you have to, you think that breaking down and crying is going to be the way that you're having a breakthrough. No, you're being broken down. There is no breaking through. You're being broken down. That's all that's happening. You're getting pummeled psychologically. And once that pummeling stops, you think, oh my God, I've had, a, I've had a transformation. No, the abuse has just temporarily stopped. They've taken their foot off the gas pedal. That's all that's happened. But when you're in this, you think, I have achieved such transformation. It's like, no, the abuse has just temporarily stopped. That's what's going on here. These are good people. These are these are people that really believe they're going to help their families. They I'm speechless. But it's been really hard for me to feel worse. It's definitely me forgetting the situations in the house. That's been fine. This body language right here is not 
proper this if you're going to be doing anything like this this should be therapy this should be private this should not be fucking broadcast for multi-level marketing pyramid scheme racket fraud scam and for it to be aired on facebook and then it's like uploaded to youtube because it's like we got to repurpose the content but most of this was viewed hundreds of thousands of times by all people in multi-level marketing thinking this was amazing and you're doing this to people airing their trauma and they think this is amazing transformation. I'm doing this for you. You have to forgive them. It's not for them. It's for you. No, it's it's for Ray. It's for him to control you. So then when you wake up, if you wake up, you have to navigate all of this. This is the shame. This is a big part of the shame that people have to fight through. Not everybody that joins multi-level marketing is going to go on a reality show and have to be and coerced to write a letter that they don't want to write, but they think that, oh, this is just another thing that I have to do in order to break through my limiting beliefs and heal myself and live into abundance instead of scarcity and like really um, trust their what who they think is their mentor and their coach. Not everybody's going to experience this, but these individuals, a lot of them have, and it's wrong what's happened to them. These are good people. And some of them have gone on to continue to abuse others using this training and they're doing the exact same thing. This is in multi-level marketing. This is across multi-level marketing. This is not okay. I don't even know I was aware of it. I remember you showing up. What they're saying doesn't matter. It's just deeply personal. I've got this sped up to one and a half and I wanna just get through this, but it's important to, it's important for people to see this back that uh we cannot we cannot this lecture is for me to move past some very painful parts of our history I'll tell you a couple of times <sighs> even though i knew we could help people because i was free. this is not transformation this is not coaching this is abuse this is the definition of abuse you want a fucking visual definition of abuse look at any one of the faces of these play to win contestants he has no business playing therapist, playing landmark. I'm going to reprogram your brain. We have a great curriculum. We have excellent tech. We know how to make everyone a success in their mind. Just look at all of the people that defend landmark in the comments on YouTube. We all sound exactly the same. Same shit that happens in multi-level marketing. You have people that leave like seven, eight responses. They won't stop. They keep defending it. There's something wrong with you. You don't understand. It's like, no, there's something fucking wrong with you when you can look at this and you can't see the abuse. Just like I could see the abuse when I was in. This is a light topic today, isn't it? Did you reject me? I was never good enough, no matter how hard I tried. No matter how many straight days I brought home. I'm doing this for you. So this is, this is what, um, what happens when you're in a cult, they break people down. You're crying, you're broken down. As soon as it's, uh, you, you're given some bullshit activity to do, and then the pressure is just removed slightly. So you feel like, oh, I'm so grateful to you. You are grateful to your abuser. No one held a gun to their heads, Julie. They could have walked out at any time. Fuck off. The conversation has moved long past that. We all know domestic violence, coercive control. You don't need to have a gun to your head. It's these bonds. This is, this is sick shit. And this is, this is multi-level marketing. This is why it can continue to go on because you'll have people that are broken down like this that will do this in, in turn to their teams and they will believe that they're helping their teams. They won't see the abuse. They won't see the, they won't see that they've been abused and they won't see that they're abusing others. And I am so deeply concerned for so many of these people, if they wake up, when they wake up, that they're gonna have to reconcile what they've done. And many of them are, the stigma of shame is gonna be just so heavy. You can see why people just, fucking snap, you know, or they just, they choose to, they wake up and they just choose to perpetuate this. I don't know. It's so fucked up. We're going to get through this and then we'll watch this documentary.
I don't know if the documentary can be any worse than any of Play to Win, that's for sure. How many gymnastics medals they brought home? I felt really good. No, you don't. You don't feel really good right now. You've been crying. You were forced to write this letter and now you light it up. You're, you filmed it. Now you got to be filmed. How many takes did that take? And how many, um, how much of your segment um, of your letter they actually read? Although they filmed the entire thing and they've kept it as collateral on you. And now you just have to symbolically burn it. And now I'm like, I'm just totally healed because that's exactly how fucking therapy works. That's how landmark works. That's how MLM works. That's how rank makers works. It's all you have to do. It's just pushing out of your comfort zone, you guys. It's really easy. And you were abusing your lithium. Thank you, guys. Okay, you get the point. We've seen enough. This is fucking horrific. Okay, I'm going to read your comments, then we'll get onto this thing here. <laughs> Cynthia. Oh, I missed the live. Landmark is such a cult. Watching this right now, and I have firsthand experience with this one. Thanks for doing this, Julie. You're welcome, Cynthia. Here to gather sticks and berries <laughs> for Marco's cult. <laughs> Champagne Hand says, I'd say your boundaries will never be respected in Landmark either. It's awful. Benjamin says, my boundaries are limitless. Even I, with limitless boundaries, see that MLM is folly. It is blood money. Yeah. Jess L says, in any MLMs, your boundaries will be abused, unfortunately. Thanks, Benjamin. We didn't learn anything. They made it up. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad you're working on it. I cannot wait to hear it. Um, Don, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> it's not no big deal. Champagne Hand says, it's for Ray. It's for Werner Erhardt. It's for L. Ron Hubbard. It's for exactly... Well, you did send it. Oh, Benjamin, it's in there. Okay, that's so good to know. Thank you, Benjamin. <laughs> um, Cynthia says, cult for sure. $800 plus lodging and food since they didn't provide anything except hard chairs, no clocks, the leader screaming at us and demanding we go out in the lobby and call someone in our family that we had not been in contact with. Holy shit, were you on, were you in Rank Makers with us? Were you in multi-level marketing for five years in Mon 8 and then decided to get additional coaching with uh, Ray Higdon? And did you also watch Play to Win? No, you were just in Landmark? That's so odd. The similarities are just unbelievable to me. It sounds like you're, it sounds to me like you're describing Rank Makers and this reality show Play to Win and the MLM coaching cult and MLM coaching industry. Hmm. It's funny that it just sounds exactly the same. Lisa says, I don't want my brain reprogrammed. Me neither. He's a therapist. Yeah. Thank So Cynthia, I want to say thank you so much for um, sharing everything already that you have. I'm, I'm so grateful that you feel um, safe enough to do so. Uh, yes. Break you down from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Then tell you to go back to your room and do homework and be back at 8 the next morning. This isn't a cult, you guys. This is just, you know, you got to do this to like really stretch yourself. Too many people play small. Oh, we fucking heard it all. Wow. The pressure to volunteer and recruit. I'm so sorry you went through that. Champagne hand is uh, selling that. Victim blaming. It's like those wasps that hijack ants. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. How many takes? Excellent question. Awful. It is blackmail. You're right. Bruce says, I've done the letter writing exercise, but in a therapeutic setting. And that's the difference where you're safe, where you're with a professional, not for a reality show, not for paying for some stupid exercise from Landmark Forum or whatever other cult is going to try to get you to behave in a certain way. Because it's not for everyone. Not everybody. It's not healthy for everyone to meditate. It's not healthy for everyone to be forced to forgive someone. That's why, you know, we go to therapy. If you choose to go to therapy, it's, it's a personal approach. Some people are blind. Some people are deaf. We're all different, you know? Having this thing, it's like, oh, pay your money to Landmark and this is what we're going to do. Everybody get in your hard chairs and sit here and we're going to be, and it's going to be all this jacked up bullshit. Oh my God. 
Benjamin says, are you serious? Did they tell you to call somebody you haven't talked to in a long time? That's the pinnacle of emotional manipulation. I want to just let, let that marinate in here for a moment. Yep. And apologize whether you mean it or not. How healthy do you think that is? Somebody, like, think of all the different scenarios that people could have gone through in their lives where they think now, oh, the abuse was my fault. I need to apologize for it. Where have we heard that before? Under what guise of personal development have we heard that before? You cannot make this shit up. And yet Landmark Forum has been fucking slithering under the radar for far too long. The co-opting of real therapy is incredibly harmful. Oh, thank you for the term. Thank you for the language. Um, to what I'm trying to explain here. That's it. Co-opting of real therapy. Okay. Now, this is what I found um, just by Googling Landmark Forum Documentary France. <clears throat> so I'm going to read this and then we're going to watch it. After years of successfully giving the impression of having managed to erase it from the internet, the documentary titled, and excuse my French, this is really pardon my French because I'm going to try to say it en français, Voyage au pays des nouveaux gurus, <coughs> a voyage to the land of the new gurus is now available again and can be watched in its entirety here. <coughs> and I'm going to link it. Um, I'll link it in the description after I've done this. Somehow, it manages to show an even worse side to landmark than the plethora of stories one can find all over the internet. It's hard to find a plethora of stories all over the internet, though. I find um, I haven't been able to find a plethora of stories. It's like it's kind of hodgepodge. It's certainly not like anti-MLM and it's not like Scientologists speaking out. Years back, two French journalists infiltrated the landmark forum with a hidden camera capturing the mysterious and innovative techniques which managed to turn people into dazed, jargon-laden, proselytizing automat automatons, automatons, <laughs> how do you say it, in no more than three and a half days. Okay, this is in quotes. You're an asshole. Kill yourself. Kick yourself. Get cancer. This was told by the seminar leader to a middle-aged woman who was wondering how to manage her relationship with her daughter. And albeit evidently wrong in her very guarded approach to men, which she had tried to pass on to her daughter, these words were clearly not the right way to advise her. You know who you could see doing this? Dominic Izzo. He would, he's probably been in the I could totally see. You could see fucking Ed Milet doing this. Who else could you see saying something like this? This would be like considered supreme. Um, any, any fucker from Amway. Dexter Yeager for sure. Any MLM upline would say this. They would think, oh, this is so good. I'm so edgy and cool. Telling you to get cancer, kick yourself. This is how we motivate you. Because this is what MLMs do to people. This is not harassment. It's only your interpretation. So she's just been told all these things and then told this is not harassment. It's only your interpretation of it. You are suffering and worn out because you resist. This is totally fucking ethical, you guys. During the seminar, a lady asked the forum leader, Alain Roth, why she had been harassed into participating, mentioning four calls in a single week from Landmark. Wow, this also sounds exactly like rank makers. Asking her to take part, she repeatedly referred to it as harassment. The leader told her those people were calling out of concern and benevolence. We're not harassing you. We're just really concerned about you. The harassment, he said, had never occurred. Oh, it was to make something happen for her because she can't make something happen for herself. They're just really concerned about her. We know more what's best for you than you do. That's why we got to call you four times in one week. That's not at all what a cult does. Don't look at all those people that say, is that a cult? People just want to tear that down. They're threatened by the good that we're putting into this world. Apparently, there is what happens and one's interpretation. Of course there is. She had just interpreted the predatory pestering the way any normal person would, and she was wrong to do so. You already said victim blaming. I saw Benjamin had already said victim blaming. Just more victim blaming. During the short break, the leader then approached her to convince her not to leave, still pinning her reaction on her and not himself or the company's techniques. This is another thing. It's like, 
this is, you know, you're acting this way. You're acting that way. And you're like, no, you're telling me this. It doesn't, anybody can react however the fuck they want to react. It doesn't change the fact that you're in a pyramid scheme or in a cult. So her, whether she reacts agreeably or disagreeably or however this person wants to interpret, it doesn't change the fact that Landmark is using sketchy as fuck shit on this woman and on, on other people, what I've seen. Coaching people on asking for forgiveness from loved ones. You cannot make this shit up. You can also hear the forum leader directly coach a man on how to speak to his son in a phone call he was planning word for word, correcting him at times and introducing jargon into the preparation of this very intimate conversation. He sounds cold. Holy fuck! You're not even going to believe this. He sounds cold and akin to an MLM supervisor teaching people how to sell. No fucking way. When was this article written? I'm going to have to link to this article too. Oh, this just made my day. <laughs> you know when you get like corroboration? You're just like fucking yes. It is just like an MLM supervisor. Isn't that funny? It's like this is this article about landmark form. They're just talking about the, these like the way this behavior is shaping up to be just like an MLM supervisor. It is, isn't it? What's even weirder is that the man in question called and returned to tell the rest how it had gone, describing his son's reactions as a success. The kid cracked. He started sobbing. Then a rain of applause. Oh, good job. Yay. You did exactly what you were told. Every seminar is staged down to minute details. The TV channel making the program obtained a detailed plan for a seminar, including, however ludicrous it sounds, when the leader should move his chair to the right or left. This doesn't sound ludicrous at all, because when you watch multi-level marketing coaches or some of these multi-level marketing leaders at the top of the pyramid, they look like robots. It's so fucking weird. Everything is too practiced. It's so off. It's just odd, you know? How many people have watched um, some of the reaction videos I've done where you've commented? It's like, you can you can tell Ray has practiced this in the mirror and it looks off. He's like trying to act like a human. <laughs> I'm going to make my face go this way at this moment and turn this way. Former Scientologist. The jargon is identical. A former Scientologist in the cult for seven years described upon watching the footage that the cryptic terms used were taken directly from Scientology, which is no surprise. Since Landmark is a reinvention of Est, whose founder, a used car salesman. <laughs> Are you serious? So all this shit, you know, you just think, listen, you just think. It's like you're, you sound like a used car salesman. He was a used car salesman. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Who renamed himself Werner Erhardt after spotting these names in a magazine, had taken Scientology courses, presumably finding them profitable for a future business. The documentary concludes, at least part one, it's unclear whether there's a part two, with a doctor describing how he was enrolling everyone around him including to date a patient, same as MLM. You en enroll everyone around you if you can. Everyone can benefit from your product, service, or opportunity. There is a single mother. There is a veteran on his hands and knees praying for an opportunity. And you would be so selfish as to deny them that opportunity. You really care about what other people think about you when there is someone just waiting, hoping that someone would just see them and give them a chance. And you would be so selfish as to just hold that in and be too afraid to just even ask and just to present them with the opportunity. Besides the infiltration footage, there is an ample discussion which includes former attendees, a cult expert, a psychiatrist, a mayor in charge of investigating cults, and a former Scientologist. Previous inquiries into landmark by French authorities are mentioned. I'm going to read <laughs> your comments and then we'll get into this. We will go... Automatons, automatons, automatons. Am I saying that right? Automatons, automatons. <laughs> there used to be a lot 
about Landmark on Rick Ross's website, but he pointed out even then that they were leveraging the lawyers who took their seminars. They sued him and a lot of others because that's what cults do. They cannot handle criticism. I had said this in another video. I think it might've been Grameen. Landmark is just like MLMs, like the creepy fucking dude at the bar. Could be a creepy dudette at the bar too, but I'm just going to say creepy dude at the bar. You just look at him the wrong way and he's all over you. He just thinks like, oh my God, she made eye contact with me. She wants me. This is like landmark. They're the same thing. You say anything critical about them. They're just fucking litigious. I've, I've heard other people like dance around even speaking about them. I, and it doesn't matter. You can say allegedly, in my opinion, it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. Um, because they're so ethical. They're absolutely, Landmark is absolutely not a cult. They're so ethical, filled with integrity, has no comparison at all to multi-level marketing. <laughs> Late to the stream. Hello, Amanda. And Benjamin says, thank you, Julie, for examining the twisted epistemology here. We have to break this down to the nanoparticle. Yeah. Erhard hired some Scientologists to help him write Landmark. Nay, Est. And Cynthia says, one girl left after day one because she was having a breakdown and crying. Watching the vow and talking about Nexium when they would do those EMs on people and people would have a psychotic break. Because you can't be fucking around with people's minds. Doesn't mean they're weak. It means whatever the fuck you're doing is abusive. You cannot have a one size fits all approach. That isn't even coaching. The whole point of coaching is to tailor it to the individual, not to force them to comply into some weird paradigm that you have, some box. You're put, you're cramming people into a box, you know, it's so messed up. All right. Okay. Let's get on this. I have to talk to myself when I do this. Stop screen. <laughs> Share screen. All right. Here it is. Here it is. Inside landmark form. I'm going to keep it like this size and it's going to be in French. And so then um, it takes a little moment. It takes a little bit for the this bar to disappear. This bar. And then the subtitles are in white. It's kind of faint. So it might be a little bit of annoying for you to read. But I think we'll be okay. So... Let me know as we're watching this, if you want it to be like, like this, this might actually be better. Or this, have my face on here reacting, because I can always pause it and then react. We'll start, we'll start with this. This might be the best way. So let me know. Big, like my, no face or face. <laughs> All right, let's watch this. Bonsoir, c'est un numéro exceptionnel de pièces à conviction que nous vous présentons ce soir. Une enquête sans précédent dans un univers discret, secret même, celui des nouveaux marchands de bonheur. Dans une société en perte de repères, ils sont de plus en plus nombreux, coachs ou gourous, à vous promettre d'améliorer vos performances, de mieux vivre avec les autres. Nous allons plonger ensemble au cœur de l'une de ces sociétés. Elle n'ouvre jamais ses portes aux caméras de télévision. Peut-être n'a-t-elle pas envie que vous découvriez ceci. Laissez entrer la peur. What the fuck is that tight, that, like that little bar or not? Like, usually it diminishes by now. Why is it still there? I'm trying to figure out why it's still there. I thought it would just go away. Dans votre corps, dans votre respiration, dans vos tripes. C'est une société aux méthodes surprenantes. 80 personnes enfermées trois jours durant dans un grand hôtel parisien, soumises à la volonté d'un seul homme. Vous êtes une enfoirée Oui, je suis une enfoirée, je l'aime. C'est Non, vous ne l'aimez pas, vous aimez vous. Pour tenter de comprendre, nous nous sommes... Why the fuck is that not disappearing What am I doing wrong here Damn it. <laughs> I don't know why it's not going. It, it disappeared when I was um, playing it earlier. Uh, Rose says, you might need to move your mouse cursor off. It might be where your mouse is. Okay, I'm going to... I've moved it off. Okay, I'll try it again. He's... like This is so bad. I'm going to have to like go back and play it. He's already called to her an asshole. He's like, you're an asshole. Tom préparé dans le plus grand secret. Grâce à cette caméra miniature et un matériel sophistiqué, nous avons pénétré cette société. Elle s'appelle Landmark Education. D'origine américaine, elle est présente dans 26 pays, 700 000 personnes au moins 
aurait été séduite. Ils m'ont beaucoup valorisé, j'étais un être tout à fait exceptionnel et que j'allais m'ouvrir une autoroute à quatre voies euh, devant ma vie. Mais tout ne serait pas inoffensif, c'est en tout cas ce que pensent les pouvoirs publics français. Depuis 1995, Landmark Éducation est en effet considérée comme une secte. Et on donne ça à des mecs qui ne sont pas formés, donc c'est comme si vous, demain, vous vous installez comme psychanalyste. Quoi, je veux dire. Ça, ça c'est le truc de frapper. L'amélioration de sa vie, le bonheur, la réconciliation avec ses proches, chacun le veut. Cette société l'a bien compris. Mais de ce grand voyage à travers soi, personne ne revient tout à fait indemne. N'importe qui peut se faire prendre. N'importe qui peut se faire prendre pour ça. Dans quelques instants, vous allez donc pénétrer avec nous dans l'univers de Landmark Éducation, pénétrer ou plutôt infiltrer cette organisation. Les images que vous allez découvrir sont parfois choquantes. Certaines des personnes que vous allez voir sont malmenées, déstabilisées, elles vont craquer. Nous en parlerons avec nos invités, avocats, spécialistes de la manipulation mentale et des sectes, mais aussi avec des hommes et des femmes comme vous et moi, qui ont pensé à un moment que Landmark Éducation pouvait les aider à aller mieux. Mais tout de suite, les faits, voici le début de notre voyage singulier. Par une froide matinée de décembre, un rendez-vous nous avait été donné dans cet hôtel 3 étoiles de Paris. À l'intérieur de celui-ci, une société commerciale proposait un stage de trois jours, un stage de développement personnel en contrepartie de 395 euros. Dans la peau d'un chômeur, en quête de sens, nous arrivons... Oh, see, I'm clicking around and it's like fucking up again. But I wanted to just say the um, 395 euros for three days, there's the sunk cost fallacy right there. And if you've watched The Vow, when you'd hear about people investing money into Nexium's courses, they'd say, they'd get to like day one, this is bullshit, day two, day three, they're in. And they're already thinking, oh, well, I've spent all this money. I might as well just stay. And that's a lot of money. This is a lot of money to invest. You know, even this, this documentary, I believe it was made in 2004, 2003, 2004. I forget what I clicked on. I think it was at the top menu bar. So I think it'll be good. Um, watch this again. Sur place ce matin là, équipé d'une caméra cachée. Immédiatement, nous sommes dirigés vers une salle de réunion par plusieurs personnes portant badge à leur prénom. Première épreuve sur la route du développement personnel, la signature d'un document, appelé ici un contrat. En fait, six pages éditées par la société Landmark Éducation, véritable organisatrice de ce grand week-end de travail appelé le Forum. Dans le document, voici ce que l'on peut lire. Chaque client déclare assumer tous les risques de dommages physiques, psychologiques et de troubles émotionnels pouvant survenir pendant. Like, give me a break, really? In order for you, you sign something, each person is going to be responsible for psychological damage or emotional disturbances that may occur. Come on, personal development. Shame on you, landmark. Shame on any personal development group course, forum, challenge, coach that's going to use this kind of language and signing some kind of disclaimer to absolve you from purposefully, strategically, knowingly mal hurting people, abusing people, manipulating people, deceiving people. Really? The, the fact that you even have to write this, this is a clause. Give me a fucking break. This is pathetic. Yeah, that's what uh, Lisa says. Stop right there. Hard no. Yeah. Champagne hand says, and this is the affordable soft pitch introduction. I think I just decided I, that I want France 3 to supply ominous underscoring whenever I'm making bad life decisions. <laughs> yeah. Ou après le forum. Chaque client s'engage également à dégager Landmark Éducation de toute responsabilité. Again, this is MLM. Your Landmark is free of any liability. Why would I sign that before you fuck me over? You know what I mean? Like the fact that you can sign that, come in. We're all welcoming. Whatever we do, we're free of liability. Really? That's real ethical. I mean, like subject Landmark form to their own personal development courses. Do you think that's a way to treat people? 
This is so brutal. This is so fucking brutal. I'm going to play it. I'm, I am going to play it. I'm not going to make this stretch out to eight hours. I, I, uh, I won't do that. <laughs> Question plus troublante encore posée au futur client. Avez-vous déjà été hospitalisé pour soins psychiatriques ou troubles mentaux Dans le cas d'une réponse positive, le document recommande de ne pas participer au forum. Cette entrée en matière effectuée, le stage peut commencer. Dans cette salle totalement coupée du monde extérieur, plus de 80 personnes vont passer 72 heures ensemble. Le règlement est strict. Aucune note, pas de sortie sans autorisation et un seul repas par... No note taking. No leaving without permission and one meal per day. That was when this was done. Strict rules. Why? Why do you think? What have we learned since about like becoming more like self-educated about cults and large group awareness trainings? I wonder why. I wonder where that would fit in behavior information, thought emotional control. Par jour. La mise en scène est précise. Face au public, une estrade et une chaise d'arbitre. Sur cette chaise, un homme. Il s'appelle Alain Roth. Il se dit coach ou animateur. Il est en fait le directeur de Landmark Éducation en France. En ce premier jour, il nous explique le programme de ce que l'on appelle le forum. Le Landmark Forum, c'est vraiment un endroit pendant trois jours et demi pour vous foutre sur le cours, être déraisonnable, faire des choses que vous avez jamais... I love when these guys try to swear because they're so fucking edgy. Like, it's like, oh, I'm gonna unsettle you by dropping an F-bomb just to show you, like, how cool I am. And I want to, like, I want to point that out because it's so stupid and it's such a, like, subtle as a sledgehammer. But when you're in a group, Like this, when you're in a room, they use, this is a manipulative tactic. I've seen this in multi-level marketing and I've seen it with rank makers. And it's also used to like scare you, be like, oh, like you're going to comply as well. It's like, it's a, it's another fucking tactic, you know, fuck, it's just a word, but the way they use it, it's so fucked up. Jamais fait et renoncer à toutes vos raisons et explications pour parler. Si ça vous intéresse pour gagner un jeu qui s'appelle « Vous sortez de là et c'est plus le même monde ». Comment c'est possible Il y a deux raisons qui permettent de produire ce deux genres de résultats en deux jours et demi. Un, c'est la technologie elle-même. On a inventé une technologie. No fucking way. They invented a technology. Jesus Christ. You cannot make this shit up. The tech of Nexium. Fuck. This is wild. Conversation qui littéralement révolutionne ce qui est possible. Si vous faites le forum comme il est fait, il y a 99,99% ça marche pour vous. Si vous le faites à votre façon, là, je ne vous garantis pas. Une vie transformée en trois jours et demi. Une vie où tout deviendra possible. Alain Roth ne sera jamais à court d'arguments pendant ses trois premières heures pour séduire son public. Première pause. L'occasion de retrouver quelques personnes venues ici pour être conseillées, coachées dans leur vie quotidienne. Ce que je veux, c'est réussir à, à me vendre, quoi, à dire ok, c'est ça que je veux faire, c'est ça que je veux faire. Une reconnaissance quelque part. Alors plus confiance en toi. Ouais. C'est marrant parce que la question que je me suis posée aussi, c'est le moment, c'est quoi, c'est une secte Oui, c'est ce que je me suis posé exactement la question. Oh, now this is interesting, isn't it? Where they're having this dialogue, where they're asking, is Landmark a cult? This is when, you know, you're in a large group awareness training, you're in Rank Makers, you're in Mon 8, you're in Arbon, you're in Herbalife, you're in Amway, you're in, in Primerica, you're in, in WFG. Why do I keep saying in, in? You're in one of these multi-level marketing companies or you're in Landmark and it occurs to you, is this a cult? And then you squash it down. No, it can't be. I'm with you. You're asking the same thing. Oh, I guess we just have to, you know, learn to be more confident. This, he just said, If we do 90, if we do exactly what we are supposed to do, 99.99% of us are all going to have success. But if you do it your way, you're going to fail. 
you'll always, if you don't win, if you take nothing away from this, if you don't succeed, it's all your fault because you did something wrong. You didn't believe enough. Oh, we've heard it all before. Chez les participants ce matin, le doute est déjà là. La question est déjà posée. Pour continuer à se forger son opinion, chacun est invité à reprendre sa place. Car c'est maintenant, nous dit-on, que le cours va véritablement commencer. Dans ce premier exercice, chacun est invité à prendre la parole afin d'exposer en public ses problèmes personnels. And that's not fucking culty at all. No, get the floor. Everyone, get on and tell me your personal problems in front of all these strangers. It's totally safe. You don't know all these people, but we're already like a family. What, what do you have to worry about? This is totally normal. This is something that you need to do. I already told you that if you follow exactly what we do here, 99.99%, it's gonna, you're going to have success. You're going to have whatever you want. If you do it your way, you're going to lose. So this is just yet another, the very first thing right off the bat. Look at this. Tell your personal problems to the audience. This isn't healthy. This isn't normal. This isn't coaching. If you're um, looking for personal develop development, you're looking to improve, you know, um, marketing yourself. Like that one gentleman had said, oh, although this was, you know, in 2004, or 2003, these problems, these things that we think we need to work on, they still exist. Um, that one gentleman thinking that he doesn't feel like he makes good decisions. These are normal things. Another thing of, I'm, I don't feel confident. This is normal. This is a normal part of the human experience. You, We aren't always going to feel confident. We're not always going to know that we made a good decision. And sometimes we make bad decisions and it's okay. But feeling like you need someone else for you to personally develop. Is it George? Oh my God, George Carlin. He has that skit about personal development you need to go and get a book that tells you how to personally develop it's ridiculous when is the turning inward for answers why are we abandoning our own will our own instincts our own thoughts and doubts which lead us to investigate and explore the world around us and come up with our own opinions and experiences rich complex emotions and relationships with people Why do we need to abandon all of that and listen to someone else? Obliterate our boundaries and just be poured into. That's not personal development. That's external development. What do you think about it? No, you don't. You can't think. I'll tell you what to think. I'll tell you when you can go to the bathroom. This is what you need because you have doubts. You paid to be here. There must be something that you're looking for. Otherwise, you'd have it. You wouldn't be here. This is so brutal. Daniel est la première à tenter l'expérience. Alain Roth l'invite à se confier face à l'assistance. Son malaise, Daniel finit par l'avouer. Elle s'entend mal avec sa fille. Euh, voilà, et ma fille, en ce moment, alors que tout pourrait aller bien, ma fille, en ce moment, euh, applique ce que je lui ai dit. Euh, tu ne peux pas faire confiance à un homme, donc elle est avec un homme. What a fucking cock. She's going out with a man you're not in love with? Oh, Alain. Oh, so fucking smart. Well done. Wow, you really know how to just cut right through to people, don't you? Fucking joke. <laughs> Mais bon, je la domine puisque de toute façon... Et vous avez ça, raison. On dirait les hommes. Les, les hommes n'ont pas leur confiance. Exactement. Euh, elle a entendu ça toute sa vie. De toute façon, t'as pas que c'était déjà ça. Ils sont tous des salauds. Je me suis toujours arrangé pour... Mais dans le silence, euh, enfin, pour oui, lui bah... faire croire que les hommes ne savent plus. Oui, vous faites ça là, subtilement. Et euh, oui, je me rends bien compte... le lentement. Je me rends bien compte qu'elle a tout à fait intégré... Donc vraiment... vous êtes servi votre fille pour démontrer... You ruined her life. It must be hard to look in the mirror. 
This is therapy. This is cutting edge. This is landmark forum. It must be hard to look in the mirror. You ruined her life. Oh, Julie, you don't understand. You're taking this out of context. No, context. no I fucking understand. We all understand exactly what this is. You don't need to attend a three-day event. You can look at this one interaction and see right through it for what it is. This is disgusting. This is not coaching. This is not personal development. This is thinly veiled abuse, manipulation. And they're all going to be pressured to recruit people to join in this and have this, this guy and other people talk down to them. It must be hard to look in the mirror. You ruined her life. This is what people pay for. This is personal development. This is what personal development has turned into. You thought it was about, you know, scrolling through on Instagram and you read a positive meme and you feel good. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to wake up early. I'm going to start working out. I'm going to be consistent. No, 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 no. There's the dark side. This is what actual, this is what personal development actually is. That's what the whole industry is. Is this shit? It all stems, it all goes back to this kind of shit. Napoleon Hill, all this stuff. How you talk to people like this, it's just horrifying. You have all these, I think of all these good people who really want to improve themselves or heal relationships, do things, and then they, they get into this nonsense. And they'll, and they'll be in it forever because they'll be loyal. Now it's, it's not something like an actual healthy relationship with a therapist where there is you're not supposed to be plugged in for life you're supposed there's supposed to be an end date because the success is them working themselves out of a job you should be independent that things are going to go wrong you're going to be hurt you're going to feel overwhelmed and that's going to be okay you're going to be okay it's the point isn't to create dependency and to feel worse than what you did when you come in the point isn't to make you feel worse but in this, you, you are made to feel worse because you need to be broken down so they can build you back up. Do you see the similarities already between um, season two of Play to Win already? It's just right off the bat. I didn't think I haven't seen any of this um, landmark documentary. But I thought that was really interesting already. She's having to like divulge personal stuff. This was all all done in um, Rank Makers as well. Still at it, eh? Yeah. Regardez dans la glace. Hein. C'est ça que ça coûte. Hein. Mais ça, ça, ça... Et vous prétendez en plus vous l'aimez, vous plaisantez. Mais je t'aime, mais j'ai mis en garde. Mais, mais, euh, mais, mais, euh, mais euh, ouais, 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 et arrêtez de, de la jouer autrement. Ce qui est aux commandes de votre vie, c'est un mécanisme qui est à propos de détruire le bonheur de votre vie pour l'un autre monde sur les autres. Et vous prétendez à vous-même, hein, à vous-même, hein, que vous l'aimez. Non mais c'est un scandale. Je, oui, voilà, je, je suis attendez, je l'aime. Mais grave Look at that, she's like, yes, I'm an asshole. Hey John, how's it going Vous l'aimez pas, vous aimez vous. Non, 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 non. Vous êtes sacrifié pour elle. Assez... Non, vous n'êtes pas sacrifié pour elle. Vous l'avez sacrifié pour vous. L'humiliation publique dure maintenant depuis 30 minutes. Devant la violence des propos, Daniel craque. Vous, vous, vous passez votre temps à pleurnicher sur vous. C'est pas beau à voir. Hein. C'est. Euh, euh, je suis euh, euh, euh. How gross is this? I know this is really disturbing. I'm mocking her. This is landmark forum. Vous assassinez tout le monde. Quand même des limites. Je reconnais, je reconnais. C'est vous qui l'avez fait. Je reconnais que j'ai réussi à bien inculquer. Non, à lui détruire. Et donc, elle est complètement broken down. Et what this is a cult tactic where you're publicly humiliated in front of people. It can happen in all kinds of shapes or forms. It can be like hot seat laser coaching in rank makers could be um shit like that going on in the 100k inner circle in rank makers this could be in a cult where they go around in a circle and they have everybody tell you 
what's wrong with you. This is a, just another manifestation of this. So this was the very first, they're opening up this conference. They're opening up this three-day personal development training with a woman and he's just berating her. And they said it's gone on for 30 minutes already. All these people, she's opened up, she's become vulnerable and he's just beaten her down emotionally, psychologically. Everybody's watching. Nobody's standing up. Is anybody coming to her aid? Is anybody saying this is wrong? Is anybody saying, oh, if that was me, I wouldn't stand in this. I would tell everybody this is a cult. Nope. Because everybody in there, they're making it make sense to themselves right now because they paid 395 euros in 2003 or 2004. They want to work on their confidence. All these little excuses that we make to try to make it make sense, you know. À lui détruire sa vie sentimentale. Oui. Bravo. Et à la culpabiliser. Bravo. Alors, ayez pas la décence de dire que vous l'aimez. Mais si, puisque là, je ne voudrais pas justement qu'elle... Vous prétendez que vous voudriez qu'elle soit heureuse, vous arrangez pour qu'elle soit malheureuse. C'est ça, un racket. C'est ça, l'inauthenticité. Bon, là, elle est dans une histoire, justement, qu'il faudrait... Enfin... Et maintenant, vous voulez la sortir de ce mec avec qui vous, dans le... avec qui vous l'avez mis Et pour la remettre avec un autre, ou alors pour faire qu'elle en ait plus. Vous avez détruit ce qui est possible dans sa vie. This is so fucking intense. I'm going to just read your comments again. John says, "Caught the live stream late. We'll rewatch the beginning later." Champagne head says, "Champagne hand." Have I been saying champagne head? So now I'm wondering, since I know what comes later in this doc, is it in the script to choose one of the first people to speak and do this, especially considering what Cynthia Lewis said earlier? Maybe. And John says, since we see how cults operate and how manipulation techniques and brainwashing functions, can we agree that the government did similar stuff to the general public worldwide beginning March 2020? Now that's a conversation for another stream. My purview is MLM. <laughs> I got enough on my plate, John. <laughs> I've got enough trap doors open beneath my feet. What I'm going to be focusing on, my content is about multi-level marketing, helping people exit these commercial cults, broader conversations. No, I won't be discussing those ones. Um, Jess says, in the MLM I was in, one of Tony Robbins had a servant leadership program for the reps who served at the national events. And she had several opportunities for us to share our burning shares stories. Or, you know, and he reminded me of Tony Robbins too. The way he sat there and he says, the way he's speaking to her, like this is ex this is Tony Robbins. Uh, I know, differently normal, you caught it. I'm like, I wanted to stop it. I'm like, fucking racket, right? It's like this guy actually said it's a racket without a hint of irony. This is one of the things that I see cults do, MLMs do, MLM coaches do. They say what they're doing. And they do, they say it without any irony. It's like they're telling you what they're going to do. It's just wild. She was very similar to this. Correction, one of his mentors. C'est vous qui l'avez fait et vous avez l'indécence de dire que vous l'aimez. Je reconnais, je reconnais, là je reconnais, mais qu'est-ce que je fais de ça Vous arrêtez de culpabiliser d'abord. 50 minutes plus tard, Daniel est épuisé. Qu'importe, l'animateur va la pousser encore plus loin. La culpabilité est encore... 50 minutes later Have they not done anything They've just put this woman... Can you imagine you pay for something So this, keep this in mind. If you roll into a landmark training, who knows if they still do this exact same format or if there's like some kind of weird derivative now going on. But now you're going to see what has gone on in the past. This is their... This is where they've come from. So you pay all this money, you're going like, well, what are we going to learn? I'm going to learn to be more confident. I see all these testimonials on YouTube and people just say that they've completely transformed their lives and healed their relationships. And it's the most wonderful thing ever. And then you see somebody's been beaten down for 50 minutes as you're just sitting there crying, making her feel guilty and then shaming her that she feels guilt. She's just putty in his hands at this point, you know? Yeah, John, I, I agree. Yeah. Um, Ray says, a lot of landmark people in Virginia Beach, my old neighbor became an employee of the organization or something, took me to an event over 20 years ago, and I cannot believe they are still in existence. I did not join. I thought they were a strange group. It's 
Si vous voulez faire quelque chose pour votre fille, oh, pas... he just said that. If you want to do something for her, I don't know, you could kill yourself. What universe is this considered okay? Landmark Forum. I wonder if Landmark Forum will say, well, it's just that branch in in France that says that. It's like MLMs. Oh, our MLM isn't like that. Oh, our um upline isn't like that. It's it's the cross line. It's the other upline. It's the other company. Mine is different. No, you're not. You're the same. Landmark is landmark is landmark. MLM is MLM is MLM. He tells, he says that to her. Imagine like telling someone that. And this is done for personal development that you've just wandered into this. And how many people over the years have been scammed into this? Check out their YouTube channel. I mean, please go do your own research and you come up with your own opinions. It's fucking culty. <laughs> it, it's a cult, but it's fucking those videos are culty. Like any way you can use the word cult, it's, you'll see what I mean. It's so weird. Champagne hand says, oh, we're banned in France now. It's not like that in the rest of the world. No, we're so much different now. We're much more progressive. It's much more safer. We, re we really care about people. Look at all the testimonials of people that have said the exact same things that other people have said years and years ago. The same script. Can you suicide? No, it's not good. No. Filez vous des coups. Trouvez un truc qui vous fasse souffrir. Attrapez un cancer. Get cancer, make it last for 29 years so you suffer and die. Anybody in multi-level marketing saying uh, any critic of Jesse Lee Ward says the same shit. Well done. You might as well start your own landmark forum coaching business. You'd fit right in saying the exact same thing because this is how you talk to people, you know. This is the thing, you know, like commenting on, um, you know, being in outside of multi-level marketing, waking up from this, it's like there are so many good people involved in this. These are people that don't know that they're brainwashed. They don't know that they're in the cult. They don't know that what they're doing is abuse. They don't know that they're defrauding people. They don't know that them saying they just signed up for a discount is like they're the automa automaton, however the fuck you say that word. They're a little robot too. We all say the same things. I just signed up for the discount. Yes, we know. That's what all the cult members say. You didn't just sign up for the discount. That's what you're told to say. No, I'm saying it on my own. No, you're not. Because everybody says the same thing. And even if you really believe that, you know, you, you do believe it's the truth, it's still a problem because you're showing it's a pyramid scheme, not landmark forum, but your MLM. Because there are no retail sales. There's virtually no retail sales in any MLM because most of the customers sign up for the discount. Most of the customers are distributors that are just signing up for the discount. <laughs> automaton. 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 It's like documentary. I don't know. I had to a long time. <laughs> Lisa says, um, today that to, to say that to an emotional, emotionally fragile person is inexcusable. Yes. And he's made sure he's uh, prepped her. So 50 minutes, this has gone on five zero. And then he is starting to really ram it home, carrying the poison to the hive. Yeah, this is a virus. It is. À cet instant, Alain en profite pour faire la leçon à tout le monde avec son propre vocabulaire. On est des criminels. Quand on se sent menacé, ça s'appelle un racket. C'est ça la distinction. Racket. Vous vous sentez menacé dans votre ego, dans votre identité. Dans... C'est même pas une menace physique. Hein. C'est pas vous perdez la vie. C'est vous êtes rejeté. On veut plus de vous. Vous, vous rayez tous les hommes. Et vous inculquez ça à votre fille. Et vous servez de votre fille comme une revanche. Et la bête est à propos détruire. Elle n'est pas à propos d'aimer. Nous allons dans quelques minutes poursuivre ce voyage au cœur de Landmark Éducation, vivre la suite de ce stage heure par heure. Mais après cette scène particulièrement violente, il est important de s'arrêter sur ce qui vient de se passer avec nos invités. Brigitte Tellier qui a suivi un stage à Landmark Éducation. Pierre qui a vécu la même expérience et qui souhaite rester anonyme pour préserver sa vie professionnelle. Et Jean-Pierre Jougla, vous êtes juriste, spécialiste de la manipulation mentale dans les sectes. Je me tourne 
d'abord vers vous, Brigitte, euh, et vers vous aussi, Pierre, parce que je vous ai entendu et vu réagir avec euh, beaucoup de virulence pendant cette séquence, euh, comme si ça vous faisait encore mal de voir ces images. Oui, c'est vrai. Euh, J'ai suivi ce stage en 1996. Et en revoyant Alain Roth sur sa chaise, euh, j'ai envie de dire oui, vraiment, ça remue les tripes. Ça vous a fait mal Ça fait très mal. C'est très difficile de revoir ça. Très, très difficile. J'ai vu pire, encore. Mais ça, c'est déjà très difficile et ça donne bien le ton. On met sur la sellette quelqu'un pendant 50 minutes et on le détruit. Et c'est juste comme play to win. C'est juste comme any, like any cult. You know what's so weird too is like you think somebody that has uh, attended Landmark Forum and they're so fucking terrified that you eat. Like, can you imagine you are running a, prof a personal development company and the people that have had a bad experience are so terrified. They feel like they have to be in shadow. They have to mask their identity. What the fuck are you doing to people? How weak is that? That even your critics, they have to be hidden like this? That's not empower, empowering at all. That is so revolting. This also reminds me when she said um, that seeing him makes her stomach turn. I felt that way. I know so many of us have felt that way about Ray, like seeing him, like we can't even handle it. It's so gross. I call him face. It's so weird. It's just like they're in a cult, <laughs> isn't it? <sighs> John says, in a cult, feelings of worthlessness and evil become associated with independence and critical thinking. Oh, this is so good. And feelings of warmth and love become associated with unquestioning submission. And it cuts like a knife. Oui. Ça veut dire que vous avez vu, vous aussi, des, des stagiaires s'effondrer sur scène Ça veut dire que ce que nous avons filmé est tout à fait conforme à ce qui se passe dans ces forums Oui, c'est même un peu de l'eau sucrée. C'est pire que ça, parfois. Là, il s'agit d'un problème mère-fille. It is. We just saw it on Play to Win. This happens in multi-level marketing. You can see it when um, look at any multi-level marketing company, look at any large group awareness training. It's like you know where she's like, Duh. I mean, it goes worse than this, and this is just landmark. Imagine the scale of this. Oh, so many people being hurt, you know. And he's saying it's like this is just this is normal. I can identify with that. I can relate to that. All these ex rank makers that have woken up, they don't see it until they're out and they're like, oh my God, how did I not see this abuse? I keep tying it back to rank makers because that's my experience, but I hope um, that you could be maybe drawing, um, you can see the similarities with your own experience too, with your multi-level marketing company. <laughs> I'm glad Benjamin gets my <laughs> references here. Yeah, evil shouldn't be normal. The trip to Columbia, Jesse Lee Ward's people. You know what I, um, you know, what's going to happen as people heal and eventually realize what they've been a part of with her, it's going to be so hard for them to come forward because Jesse Lee Ward was really getting in front of any fucking criticism. Everybody loves me. She's so loud. Everybody loves me. Everybody, nobody has said any criticism. Oh, they will. It'll come. Now that when she's gone, you know, as she's, she's gone now, but People will come forward in the future and then they're going to have to battle. Oh, well, you can't speak ill of the dead. There'll be all that bullshit too. But as a rank maker, I want you to know if you're happening to be watching this, you're not alone. It was another coaching cult, another MLM coaching cult. Same as Eric Warre, all these fuckers. Um, Champagne Hand says, I hate so much that this crap radiated out to so many other people's experiences in their re respective groups. I know, like out of all the things that you could be like, that you could be helping people, how, how can, how can you take wanting to help people and twist it into such a way that you're yelling at someone that you should kill yourself and that you're an asshole and that you can think and package this up and call it personal development? How, how? <laughs> Alors, quand on voit la violence des propos tenus pour une relation mère-fille, il n'y a pas de quoi en faire un drame. Ça arrive. Alors, imaginez pour des sujets bien plus douloureux. Alors là, on ne se tient plus. Et comment vous avez, vous, vécu ces trois jours de stage Intérieurement, vous étiez comment eh bien, Je pense que je suis comme toute personne dans, dans cette, sur cette terre. Euh, j'ai ma part de problème et j'avais ma part de problème à l'époque. Mais quand j'ai vu certaines personnes, on vient de le voir dans le reportage, comment elles ont pu euh, expliquer avec profondeur leurs problèmes 
comment lui, de son côté, a pu dire « Mais quel gâchis vous avez fait dans la vie ?» Mais est-ce que vous vous rendez compte de la destruction que vous avez pu faire autour de vous Et de dire « Tout le problème vient de vous. » Alors, moi, maintenant, je vais réparer. Vous comprenez Moi, je... je... Wow, she just nailed it. All the problems come from you. And that's why I'm here to fix it. She is so well-spoken. And she's like... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like, it's a fucking cult! And she's like... <laughs> So calm, just like explaining it. <laughs> je suis là pour ça, je vais tout réparer. Moi, j'avais pas envie. J'avais pas envie. Euh, je me retrouvais avec 200 personnes que je n'avais jamais vues, avec un personnage qui ne connaissait absolument rien de moi. Et même si au fond de moi, j'avais des problèmes, je n'avais certainement pas envie de les afficher là. À aucun moment, euh, l'un ou l'autre, euh, vous n'avez eu tout simplement envie euh, de vous lever et de quitter la salle euh, Non, parce qu'au prix que ça coûte, on va jusqu'au bout. <rire> et, vous, et vous, Brigitte, ça peut être une réponse, effectivement, mais on est très... This is where I now, I will not have any interviews with anybody who has no fucking idea about cults. Because although, like, this is going well, this can skitter off into the wrong direction. Because it's like, didn't you want to get up and leave? Why did you stay for so many years as he or she beat you? You you could have left at any time. No, you don't understand abuse. You don't understand coercive control. It's, it's like, then you're now, you're blaming the victim. All of a sudden, in that one fucking question, you've skittered off from how horrible it is, this L.A. Roth to be asking all these questions and to be like, let's, instead of labeling the perpetrator and all the horrible things he's doing, let's turn the spotlight onto why didn't you leave? What was wrong with you that you didn't just get up and leave? No, you're asking the wrong question. It's like, I was just listening to um, a little bit culty episode. Sarah Edmondson called it the short skirt fucking theory or something like that. It's like, what were you wearing? You know? This isn't about why the victims didn't leave, therefore they deserve to be abused. That's what the implication is here. Why the fuck would you answer that, ask that question? The reason why people ask that question is because they're trying to put themselves in the position, this is what I think, this is my theory, this is my hypothesis, that they're trying to put themselves in this position to be like, I couldn't have handled it. It's because it's so horrifying, they need to be like, but couldn't you just get up and leave? Like, people should just got up and have left, but they're not actually empathizing with the people that one guy did a brief little thing like sunk cost fallacy we've paid to be there this is this is indoctrination this is thought reform this is brainwashing you don't just get up and leave if you could just get up and leave mlms wouldn't exist <laughs> this shit wouldn't be going on if you could just get up and leave how easy it would be it's like well just get up and leave Nobody would have any like problems like with their like they want to lose that 10 extra pounds. That's what lots of like MLMs want to do. Nobody would have any weight loss problems at all. They would just lose the weight. <laughs> just stop eating extra shit. Just go out and exercise more. If only it was that easy. <laughs> David is here. David Breer. Um, the expert psychologist appearing on this French program is Jean-Pierre Yugla. One of the two FECRIS board members who investigated Ian Howarth's employment by Amway and how small is the world. Ian Howarth is the guy that poses as a uh, cult expert, but he was employed by Amway. And he describes Amway. I did a video on this. He describes Amway. But he doesn't say the word Amway, but everybody knows. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry knows he's talking about Amway. He's like, Amway wasn't a cult. I, there was just network. There was a network in there that was acting a little bit off. <laughs> Benjamin. Ray Blair says, Ed Milet mentioned in his tribute to Jesse Lee that she was considered as wild and crazy. Until she made money, these people wouldn't touch Ed. Yeah. I think everyone in the 90s was a little bit indoctrinated. Yeah, John, you got it. Victim blaming. Yes, if you want to, uh, if you look at um, David Breer MLM, his blog will come up and it is an excellent resource. I, I highly recommend <laughs> taking a look at it. He's been a great help and support to me. Uh, John says, without social media, it would probably be easier. Have you looked into the Watts case and the MLM re relation? I, I haven't. I haven't, but I've, I've had a lot going on in my brain. <laughs> There's only so much I can do. Oh, correction, uh, the spelling is Jugla. He's also a qualified attorney. 
Very interesting. Très surveillé également. Je crois qu'il faut quand même le souligner. On ne quitte pas la salle comme ça. Alors, Jean-Pierre Le Jougla, je l'ai dit, vous êtes juriste et vous êtes aussi spécialiste de la manipulation mentale. Peut-on dire, en regardant cette scène, que c'est effectivement de la manipulation mentale qui se produit entre Alain Roth et. Je veux juste parler pour les victimes ici, parce que je comprends que c'était en 2004. Je comprends que c'est bon d'avoir un culte expert. But when someone comes to you telling you that they've been abused or they have been um, defrauded or they have been brainwashed, it's like, okay, have they actually been abused? It's like, let's just fucking take the victim's voices, the survivor's voices right away from them. There's a way to handle this. And I know I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm happy that they've done this documentary, but you are not going to have survivors come forward when you deal with them like this. This is so fucking bad. Like, just think about it. <laughs> Just fucking think about it. <laughs> Champagne hands. Like, sorry for my contribution to your full brain, Julie. I appreciate it. I'm glad that you broached the subject of this because this is something I've wanted to investigate because it's been in to rank makers and it's something that's affected me and my friends. So I'm I'm happy. I'm happy and grateful that you did it. And uh, John says, please do good uh, some short why to commentaries out there. Et Avant de vous répondre, je voudrais juste rebondir sur la question que vous avez posée. À aucun moment, vous avez eu envie de quitter la salle Non. Tout simplement parce qu'ils étaient dans un état qui leur rendait impossible tout, toute sortie. Vous avez assisté dès le début à la mise en place de la manipulation mentale. Well done He recovered it Yay I hope he's a good guy, David, because he sounds like really good. Like, that sounds awesome. He sounds it's he immediately it's like taking the focus of blaming the victims. Why didn't you leave? He's like, did you want to? No, from the very beginning, the brainwashing is set in motion. Thank you. Now we just need to have like more people like mainstream media where they know how to handle this with um, the respect, the nuance and the fucking common sense that it deserves. You're like, well, you know, like, did you ever want to leave? Like, fuck off. Come on. It's like 2023 now. Come on. <laughs> sur des choses qui peuvent paraître totalement euh, anodines. Par exemple, enfermer les gens pendant trois jours et demi, quatre jours, dans une pièce sans fenêtre sur l'extérieur. Plus aucun sens de, du temps qui Aucun passe. repère. Aucun repère. Euh, engagement par un contrat totalement abusif. Valide d'ailleurs ce contrat Aucune validité. Si vous le plaidez devant un tribunal, c'est une clause abusive qui tombera immédiatement. Mm -hmm. Mais les gens qui y sont ne savent pas que ce n'est pas valide et sont donc placés dans un état d'infériorité d'écoute. Mm -hmm. Est-ce qu'il y a un danger à mettre une personne dans une telle situation face à un public de 80 personnes ou 200 personnes Bien entendu qu'il y a un danger, ça ne viendrait à l'idée de personne de s'amuser à ça. Roth est en train d'utiliser des techniques qui peuvent exister dans des groupes de psychologie comportementale éventuellement, mais qui se comprennent dans une relation duel. Duel, ça veut dire face à face. Face à face, en dehors de toute confession publique. Là, on rentre dans une technique de type totalitaire. C'est de la déstructuration mentale, on peut ça dire ça Ça déstructure totalement la personne. Alors, je veux bien qu'un certain nombre de personnes ne s'en rendent pas compte. Mm -hmm. Mais c'est le propre de la manipulation mentale de se passer justement. It happens without the victim knowing it. Exactly. You are in a cult, you don't realize it. You will argue that you are not in a cult. This is great. It happens without the victim knowing it. Oh, he's doing a bang up job. He knows what he's talking about. Good. Because, you know, David, each time I talk with you, there's like another piece of information. I'm like, when is it going to end? So I'm happy that this one is like, this is a, this is, this is good. He knows what he's talking about. Well, I hope so. Anyway, let's, I won't, I won't make any more um, or generalizations. It's just, he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Understood. We're really just concerned about her and her money. À l'insu de la personne qui en est victime. Alors, vous restez avec nous. Dans quelques instants, nous allons poursuivre notre incursion, notre infiltration dans Landmark Education. Et vous allez voir que nous ne sommes. Can you just imagine if Marco infiltrated Landmark? It would be. It would blow up. Ooh. <laughs> Pas au bout de nos surprises, mais vous vous demandez sûrement d'où vient Landmark Education Qui a créé cette organisation Combien elle regroupe de stagiaires S'agit-il d'une secte, comme se le demandaient certains des participants Voici les réponses à vos questions. Landmark Education. Pour en savoir plus sur la compagnie, 
nous avons effectué une recherche rapide sur Internet. Dans les pages jaunes, cette société est juste une entreprise. Especially now. If you want to know if it's a cult, just search for it. Let me give you a, a hint what's going to happen the same way as if you search is rank makers a cult or is money a cult or is multi-level marketing a cult. All these negative, uncoachable haters, demons that vibrate at a low frequency like to put anything negative up there on the internet. If you want to find the real information, you want to come and talk to us. We'll give you the real information. <laughs> That's what you're going to find. You're going to find the same shit. You're going to have more shit now to wade through than you did back then. Is <laughs> de formation continue. Sur son site web, cette holding américaine basée à San Francisco diffuse un film à sa gloire. Sourires et applaudissements, les stages semblent se dérouler dans une parfaite bonne humeur. Créé en 1991, Landmark Education est l'un des leaders mondiaux dans l'industrie du développement personnel. La société affirme être présente dans 25 pays et employer plus de 475 salariés. À ce jour, Landmark Education aurait eu plus de 700 000 clients dans le monde. En France, Landmark Education est dirigé par un diplômé d'HEC, cet homme, Alain Roth. Inscrite au registre du commerce en 1993, la filiale française occupe aujourd'hui des bureaux dans le 10e arrondissement de Paris. Mais dès 1995, le nom de la société apparaît dans un rapport d'enquête parlementaire qui dresse la liste de 172 mouvements à caractère sexuel. Well, isn't that interesting? In 1995, a parliamentary report that listed 172 movements with a cultish nature. How interesting. Hi, CM. Entre le suicide dérive et le club des surhommes, Landmark Éducation. Pour effectuer ce classement, les députés se sont appuyés sur le travail mené par les policiers des renseignements généraux. Pour eux, dix critères définissent une secte. Dans les notes d'enquête des RG, il est question de lavage de cerveau et de manipulation mentale chez Landmark Éducation. Prenant contact par téléphone avec le siège français, nous avons souhaité parler à Alain Roth. Oui, allô Monsieur Roth Oui, bonjour. Euh, je vous passe un petit coup de fil. On est en train de préparer euh, une émission. Au même euh, moment, euh, notre journaliste infiltré euh, se trouve à côté de lui, dans les bureaux. Oh my God, how cool is that They planted, they call him, and at the same moment, they have a reporter planted next to him. Oh, that's next level. This is exciting. Oh, I will definitely search for this report. It's public in France. Oh, very good. Yes, please go do your research. Go find out um, find out this information because this is what we need to do. This is what we gotta we gotta start critically thinking. <laughs> we gotta start actually doing our research. Landmark education. Un nombre d'années. Donc, je voulais prendre contact avec vous afin de pouvoir vous rencontrer. Bon, alors attendez, donc, euh, ce qu'il faut faire dans ce cas-là, c'est que vous passiez par euh, notre département qui euh, traite directement avec les médias. Je vais, euh, Impossible de poser euh, la moindre euh, question à Alain Roth. Il nous renvoie pouvez, immédiatement euh, sur sa direction aux États-Unis. Écoutez, ce que vous aurez à faire, c'est parler avec eux d'abord. Très bien, je vous remercie, monsieur. À bientôt. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bon, donc... Euh... Oui, ils font euh, une émission sur les sectes. Hein. Dès la fin de la conversation, Alain Roth informe ses responsables américains. La négociation va durer plusieurs semaines. Au final, Landmark nous accorde une interview. Mais surprise, ça ne sera pas celle d'Alain Roth. En échange, la société nous propose un entretien avec cette femme, Sophie McLean. Venue spécialement de New York, voici comment elle nous présente les activités. De... Well, this is going to be good. I can't wait for this. This is good. I'm like, I'm, I'm having so much fun watching this with all of you. Brise means hurt. That was the freeze frame that didn't get translated. Thank you. 
David says Herbalife is on the same French government list of cultic groups. Clary, Clary T, enjoy watching the beginning here. And Differently Normal says, I wonder if any of the participants realize the kid cracked isn't the same thing as we supported this person while he figured out the process of rebuilding his relationship with his child. And Champagne Hand says, Julie, thank you. I'm so glad you're covering this. Oh, thank you for bringing this to my attention. You know, this is, this is the community. <laughs> this is the community of like-minded individuals. <laughs> <laughs> de sa compagnie. C'est une compagnie internationale de développement personnel. Donc nous avons conçu cette éducation. Cette éducation est connue pour prendre le premier programme, ça s'appelle le forum, trois jours et une soirée pour examiner ce que c'est que d'être un être humain. This fucking sounds like Nexium! Doesn't this sound exactly like Nexium? Oh my god! Um, David says, um, the French interministerial mission that compiles the list of cultic groups active in France is known as Miveludes. It gathers information and issues reports, but it has been effectively useless. Ah. Donc ça c'est général. Vous, vous venez et vous regardez votre vie, vous regardez vos valeurs, vous pensez. C'est un week-end qui a été conçu pour ça, pour examiner ce qu'est un être humain. Et ça produit des résultats extraordinaires dans les endroits de la vie où vous êtes intéressé. Oh, that's all it is, you guys. All it is is you examine what it is to be a human being and you get extraordinary results in the areas of your life that interest you. <laughs> what areas of life that interest me? Well, whatever in in area of interest that you want, you totally get to choose. What if I want to get really good at playing ping pong on Atari? Well, that can be it. You examine what it is to be a human being in three days, and then you get extraordinary results. Define extraordinary. Well, extraordinary. You were having ordinary results or no results, and now you're going to have extraordinary results after only three days because you've examined what it is to be a human being. <laughs> Am I learning how to like do a more like get my catch, work on my swim catch so I can get the water even though I've got like limited mobility in my shoulder? No, 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 no. We're not, you're not going to learn any actual skills. It's going to be word salad like this, a lot of mind fucking, and then you're going to have extraordinary results. And if you don't, well, it's all your fault because you should just kill yourself and kick yourself and call yourself an asshole. Quote Alain Roth, say it said that one. Pong maker. <laughs> yeah. Pong maker is right. Merci. Landmark Education tient également à préciser que ces programmes s'adressent à des personnes en bonne santé morale et physique, comme le précise le contrat signé par chaque client. Les gens qui ne vont pas bien vont faire de la psychologie ou de la psychothérapie. Hein? Les gens qui sont bien vont faire du développement personnel. Quant à la classification, people who are doing well do personal development, like talking to you. People who are doing not so well psychology, like psychologically, oh, you know, we don't really care about those people. <laughs> It's like, kick them out. Like, we don't want those people. Those people, right out the door. They're, they're something. Oh, we don't want those people. It's so fucking wild. People that are doing well, they want to be, they want to do personal development. This is so messed up. The way that she's talking about this, like describing it, like it's just so um, obvious that they're just this personal development and it's clear to anybody like looking at this, that they would want to participate in this. This reminds me of rank makers where people would say, how did you get sucked into this? Because I was already sucked into MLM. And then I got sucked into MLM coaching, but that's what it reminds me of. It's so I don't know what the the what it is for people that like. Well, it doesn't really matter what it is. People get sucked in just like I did. Like it's you're it's a cult. You're looking for something. You're you think you're joining something good. You think you're going to get something out of it. You spend a lot of money. You stay another day, and then you're in. Why does she remind me of Nancy Salzman? I am blown away by this. I know they use the word technology. 
too earlier on in this if you're just like coming on here they said oh i can't even believe they said that doris says um oh you're cleaning the windows today glad you are alive thank you and champagne hand says this is so rich considering it was written in part by scientologists and what is this what is cos i don't know what that is so called differentiary differ differentiator is that psychologists are evil what is the cos it's the um is it sea org is that what it is or i don't know i'm not sure what that is Church of Scientology. Thank you. Thank you, Champagne. Secte de Landmark Education par les parlementaires français. Sophie McLean conteste. D'abord, c'est complètement faux, évidemment. Mais uh, ah. je vais vous dire, on l'a. <laughs> of course, it's untrue. <laughs> We're not a cult at all. Of course. This happens in all the time, all the newspapers, all the. <laughs> Fuck. This is aged beautifully. Appris en lisant les journaux qu'on était catalogué une secte personne n'a fait une enquête nous n'avons pas été personne n'est venu observer notre séminaire selon Sophie McLean plusieurs experts internationaux affirment même dans différentes études que Landmark n'est pas une secte il y a cette extraordinaire personne en Amérique qui s'appelle docteur Raymond Fall on a aussi quelqu'un en Allemagne un docteur euh, Nedopil. Selon elle, un expert français s'est lui aussi porté garant pour Landmark Éducation. L'expert de secte en France, il y a monsieur euh, Jean-Marie Abral. On vous laisse complète liberté, vous pouvez prendre toutes les notes que vous voulez et vous nous dites à la fin, vous nous faites un rapport et vous nous dites hein, ce que vous pensez. Well, that's good to know because I'm basically doing my own kind of interpretation of that too, watching this, taking notes and giving and giving my two cents, which is what you would endorse, right? Because that's okay <laughs> when you're not a cult. You can do that. You're not threatened. Let's see this guy. Jean-Marie Abgral, un psychiatre, expert judiciaire, qui aurait, selon Sophie McLean, écrit un rapport affirmant que Landmark Éducation n'est pas une secte. Mais ce rapport, Landmark, refuse de le communiquer. Pour tenter d'en savoir plus, nous avons rencontré Jean-Marie Abgral. Il affirme n'avoir jamais pris réellement position. Alors que j'ai écrit que ce n'est pas une secte, ce n'est pas vrai. Je n'ai ni écrit que c'était une secte, ni écrit que ce n'était pas une secte. Je me suis pas prononcé là-dessus. Pour, pour son travail... Oh, this is interesting. And uh, David says, Niveludes reports directly to the French Prime Minister. One former French Prime Minister, François Fillon, spoke at MLM mass meetings when he was running for the office of French president. Oh, my God. Thank you for this. And Lisa's like outright lie there. Yeah. Hey, Jean-Marie Abgral a été payé, selon nos informations, plus de 45 000 euros. Il a accepté de nous révéler l'essentiel de son rapport. Dans ce document, l'expert judiciaire avoue n'avoir trouvé lors du forum aucun élément de contrainte ou d'allégeance à un leader charismatique. Wow, it almost sounds like Ian Howarth. <laughs> I didn't find anything. You know what? Why don't you pay me 45,000 euros and I'll go in there with my phone and I'll record things because you're totally allowed to. You can record everything and you can take notes that because she said that we could and then I'll make a report. Actually, you know what? I'll do it for free. You can keep your 45,000 euros. I don't want your money. I'll be, I'll go and I'll attend and I'll make up my own report. <laughs> I'll write a report. I'll publish, I'll get it typed up and I'll put it out there as if I'm some kind of authority. <laughs> Cependant, il affirme avoir mis en garde la société contre l'insuffisance de sélection et de suivi des stagiaires de Landmark. Selon lui, de telles méthodes peuvent mettre certains participants en danger. La critique que je fais, c'est bon, des, des techniques qui ne sont pas du tout maîtrisées, ce n'est pas du tout sous contrôle, euh, contrôle de psychologue. On, on met n'importe qui dedans, ce qui fait qu'au départ, si le mec il est frappé, euh, ben, il, peut être en, il, il, part, il part en farigoulette euh, tout seul. Il mmh. n'y a personne pour le contrôler, il n'y a pas de retour d'information, il euh, n'y a pas de... Il n'y a, a pas de contrôle technique vrai. Et on, on donne ça à des mecs qui... OK, look, as a fucking mental health professional, you were paid, if I'm getting this correct, 
you were paid 45,000 euros to write a report and to make it okay, you've morally reconciled that it's okay for you to accept $45,000 from a fucking cult, clearly a cult, which you know is a cult. But then the way you make this okay is to say, well, I don't have a stance on it. That's your way out. Anybody fucking looking at this can tell this stuff is dangerous and wrong. It doesn't matter if there's a charismatic leader or not. That's just one component, which doesn't have to exist. David says, Filon is currently appealing against a criminal conviction for corruption in public office. He was President Sarkozy's prime minister. Oh my God. How is this reality? Oh my God. <laughs> Differently Normal says that's one way of getting votes. It is hard to translate. <laughs> it's hard to translate and I'm not saying that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ils sont pas formés, donc c'est comme si vous demain vous vous installez comme psychanalyste, quoi. Je veux dire, ça, ça c'est le truc de frapper. Voilà, on... He had no problem taking forty five thousand dollar, forty five thousand euros from these people. Am I getting that right? Did I interpret that right? That Landmark paid him forty five thousand euros to write a report. Where did that money come from? All the people that he's saying it's so dangerous and there's no, come on. Drip, 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 bingo. En regardant ce reportage, vous avez bien sûr compris que nous souhaitions inviter Alain Roth sur ce plateau, malgré les coups de téléphone multiples, les fax envoyés à plusieurs reprises, et dont j'ai ici d'ailleurs le dernier exemplaire. Il a refusé de venir sur ce plateau et nous le regrettons, bien sûr. Nous retrouverons Brigitte Tellier donc, et Pierre sur ce plateau, qui sont, je vous le rappelle, d'anciens stagiaires de Landmark Éducation. Lorsque vous avez l'un et l'autre suivi vos stages, est-ce que vous vous êtes vous aussi posé cette question, secte ou pas secte Pierre. Oui, parce que c'est ce qui a motivé mon inscription au forum. Lorsque j'ai entendu parler pour la première fois de Landmark, j'avais deux amis proches qui faisaient. I had two close friends doing it because this is what is one of the common ways you get recruited into a cult similar to MLM. And I just want to like congratulate these two individuals. I know a long time has passed since they spoke out, but this takes so much courage to come forward like this, to make yourself a target and to speak out. This is huge. Wow. Et lorsque nous nous retrouvions, je posais des questions, il n'a jamais été possible d'obtenir la moindre information, ne serait-ce que qu'est-ce qui se passe, qu'est-ce qu'on se dit, c'est formidable, vous avez l'air bien. Les réponses, le vocabulaire employé était totalement incompréhensible. Il n'était question que de raquettes, de formules gagnantes, de choses comme ça. Donc, quand vous n'avez pas les clés, vous ne pouvez pas détecter. Alors, quand on demandait des précisions, eh bien, ça n'était pas possible. On dit mais donc, fais-le, fais-le, tu verras comme c'est bien. Alors, Pierre, on vous a bien entendu. Est-ce qu'en ce qui vous concerne, Brigitte, c'était une question importante pour vous de savoir si, oui ou non, Landmark Éducation était une secte Moi, je répondrai euh, simplement... Like, I don't... This, see, I find this question just so fucking stupid. And so it's just, I, I, I just find it so ignorant. It's like, would it be important for you to know it's a cult? Would it be important to know that the person is an abuser? Yeah, it would. It would be very important for me to know that they're a predator before I fucking went into their house. What the fuck do you think? Like, you know, this is... Anyway, okay, this is, I'm like going on another tangent, but whatever. Doris says, this is like the Mormon church endorsing paying for unethical therapists to treat church members. It's coming out with the Ruby Frank and Jody Hildebrandt arrest. David Breer says, Philon pretended to employ his wife as a parliamentary assistant. He stole hundreds of thousands of euros in this way. Philon got a jail sentence plus a fine and his wife got a suspended sentence. Jean-Marie Abigail is not well thought of by cult experts in France. He has always stood apart from cult associations. Interesting. We got, we're lucky to have David here giving us the information. Mon que d'avoir vécu ces trois jours, mm -hmm. euh, mon expérience me dit oui, c'est une secte. C'est une secte parce que c'est un endroit, à mon avis, 
où on nous prend euh, pour des pantins ou des marionnettes, et à partir du moment où on me considère comme un pantin ou une marionnette, c'est-à-dire un objet, mm -hmm. je ne suis plus moi-même. Ça veut dire que j'ai quelqu'un qui, qui, euh, qui a le pouvoir sur moi-même. Et dans ce cas-là, c'est une secte. Alors, justement, Jean-Pierre Brard nous a rejoint. Vous êtes euh, député maire de Montreuil. Vous étiez vice-président de la commission d'enquête. Il dit, yes, I'm the maire. I'm the maire of Edmonton. And I just spoke at WFG. That's absolutely not an MLM cult. We have something in common. <laughs> sur les sectes à l'Assemblée. Landmark Éducation affirme que vous les avez classés sectes, on vient de l'entendre, sans avoir enquêté. Qu'est-ce que vous leur répondez Je dis que Mme McLean doit être une petite sœur de Pinocchio et que <rire> qu'elle s'exprime son nez, ça doit, doit s'allonger. Euh, je... Oh, this guy is awesome Ooh, this mayor Can you imagine this guy as your mayor <rire> Your nose is getting longer and longer <rire> Oh my goodness, David, you are. Everybody, everybody's like, David! <laughs> This guy is awesome. <sighs> Évidemment, elle ment. Mais précisément, quels sont euh, les critères qui vous permettent de dire euh, c'est une sacrée C'est très simple. Vous voyez bien, il y a un gourou qui déstabilise les gens pour se les inféoder, se les soumettre, ce qui a été dit par les témoignages. Vous voyez bien également qu'on fait renoncer à l'esprit critique et vous brisez la personne pour qu'elle soit ramassée à la petite cuillère. Vous voyez bien aussi qu'il y a un circuit d'argent, parce que ce n'a pas été dit jusqu'à présent. Mais l'objectif ultime, c'est d'asseoir son pouvoir pour assécher le portefeuille des stagiaires et grâce aux stagiaires, essayer d'en gagner. Who the fuck is this guy? He's more cult expert than the cult expert. Um, CM is like, David, you are exposing our great French politicians. <laughs> um... David says, I was warned by various French cult observers not to trust, trust a girl, so I never tried to have contact with them. Very interesting. Gagner de nouveau. Donc, les critères de domination, de circuit d'argent, de subordination, de manipulation mentale, ils sont. Donc, c'est une secte. Mais, mais vous comprenez bien que pour, pour tous les gens qui nous regardent, euh, c'est très loin de l'image peut-être caricaturale, d'ailleurs, qu'on a d'une secte. C'est très loin du mandarum. Euh, c'est très, très... Oh It's so far removed from everybody wearing white in midsummer. Oh, it's not a cult like the man, like Charles Manson. It's not a cult like Jim Jones. Like, holy fuck. See, we're still battling this. This was 2004. And that's this... It's starting to... People are starting to become more aware there's there's so many different types of cults, political cults, commercial cults. But you can see even then. But this is outside of the caricature because a caricature is not reality. Très loin de, de l'ordre du Temple solaire, pourquoi Pas si loin que ça. Vous avez toujours un gourou, vous avez toujours une structure pyramidale. Oh, fuck, Yes. Yes, he just did the pyramid structure. Somebody else had said to it, I don't know who I was listening to, what podcast I was in, and they said it's not what their behavior is, it's what their beliefs are. Something like, maybe I got it backwards. I mean, if you know what I'm trying to say. It was either like, because people will judge them, they look differently, therefore they're not a cult. It's like, no, the, the way they act, it's or the, their beliefs are, fuck it. maybe it's the beliefs aren't important, it's the behavior that... Maybe that's what, it had, that's what it is that I had it backwards. I have to invert my triangle. <laughs> It's a derma rip, not a pyramid. <laughs> vous avez toujours un discours qui vous sépare de votre milieu familial et de la société et vous avez toujours le recours à l'argent des gens qui vous sont offerts en victime. Jean-Pierre Jouglin Ce qui frappe l'opinion publique, c'est uniquement la devanture. Les sectes que vous avez citées, ce sont des sectes à prétention religieuse, hein, qui se réfugie derrière ce paravent. Là, il n'y a pas du tout de dimension religieuse. Mais il y a quand même une doctrine. Le fondement de la doctrine de Landmark repose essentiellement sur un concept philosophique sur lequel on peut gloser. Eux, ils ne glosent pas dessus. C'est le concept d'authenticité. On va apprendre aux gens à être authentiques. On va le voir. Donc, on y reviendra. On y reviendra. Après ces premières explications, nous reprenons notre immersion. Retour au forum. Malgré ce que nous avons vu, personne n'a fait défection. Tous les participants ont décidé de revenir. Yeah, see, no shit. No shit, everybody decided to return. This shouldn't be mystified. This needs to be, this needs to be demystified. 
This needs to be baseline understanding. This shouldn't even be commented on. Despite what we saw, all the victims went back in. Those dumb victims, they deserve that abuse. They could have just walked out the door. Nobody held a gun to their head. Like enough with the surprise, the feigned surprise. Like it, this, it needs to change. It needs to change. And Bruce says, technically any group think can become a cult. We can be in an abusive relationship, a cult of one. This guy, Briard, was the head of Miviludes. I foresee another conversation in the future, David. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mais cette fois, la séance commence par des questions pas forcément bienvenues. Vous allez le voir. Retour au stage. Avant de poursuivre le cours, Alain Roth fait une proposition. À ceux qui veulent arrêter là et quitter le stage, la porte est ouverte. À ceux qui ont des questions à poser, ils doivent le faire maintenant. Donc si vous avez une question, vous levez la main et vous posez votre question. Devant nous, une femme va alors émettre une critique. Muriel se plaint d'avoir été harcelée par le personnel de Landmark, d'incessants coups de téléphone pour l'inciter à s'inscrire à ce stage. What an asshole! Look at him. Don't destroy the microphone. Wait, wait, wait. Like he's trying to. She's got balls. <laughs> She's voicing her concerns. You know what I do hope? I do hope that people go into these groups, these large group awareness trainings, and they take what they learn and they do stand up. They go in and they're like, this is a cult. This is behavior, information, thought, emotional control. Maybe more and more people will start doing that. And these things can start crumbling. People will start seeing what's going on. They're being manipulated. Look at how he's trying to work, like work at her, even before she's like, she said the question, but he's already trying to, you know, do his weird culty shit. Oh, don't destroy the microphone. Like she's speaking into the microphone. Don't destroy the microphone. You emotional, irrational, aggressive, physical woman asking a question, saying the word harassment. Wow. We haven't heard anything like that before. Um, David says, I've done the rounds of almost all these French cult experts in the past. None of them were of any practical help to me. That says a lot. Um, But is there someone sitting in the doorway where people are trying to leave? Yeah. And there's going to be that, uh, that also they've been through all this training. I guess this is the second day. Is it the first day? Is it this is the second day? And there's going to be that social pressure to stay that this is like, I'm tough. I am dedicated to my personal growth. They give you, well, you could leave. We've got the door wide open. Of course, if you leave, you're going to, everybody's going to look at you, whatever. He'll probably hurl insults as you walk out the door, like he's doing to this woman who says that we're open to criticism. And then as soon as she starts saying criticism, he's like, oh, don't destroy the microphone. Entre ce qui se passe et votre interprétation. Vous vivez dans un mélange, on va voir ça dans un instant. Il n'y a pas un tel harcèlement, il y a des choses qui se passent. Est-ce que je peux dire quelque chose Vous pouvez dire ce que vous voulez. Le forum, c'est pas je viens au micro et je parle. Il y a l'animateur qui anime les débats et c'est moi qui les anime. Donc je vais vous donner la parole. Mais c'est moi qui crée un certain contexte avant que vous preniez la parole. Anybody no. watching this, this isn't personal development. This is a cult. You don't talk to people like this. This isn't teaching them anything but compliance. This is fucking with people's behavior, information, thought, emotions, or control. This is like fucking right up there on the influence continuum. You don't need to be a cult expert to see this. I don't have to harass you. I don't want to harass you. See, he's talking to this woman. It's your interpretation. No, being called four times in a week by landmark forum trying to get her to go get up here after being invited to ask questions. No, no way. Un harcèlement ne s'est jamais passé. C'est une interprétation. Bon, alors si vous, vous me dites ce n'est pas vrai, je vois pas très bien comment je peux parler avec vous. Mais, oui, mais attendez, vous n'avez pas eu 10 personnes qui vous ont demandé alors est-ce que vous avez d'inscrire, alors est-ce que vous avez d'inscrire. Non, j'ai aussi que quelqu'un qui m'a téléphoné pour de me demander si j'avais un... No, I didn't have 10 people. I just had one person calling me. Oh, well, that's your misinterpretation. It's all your fault. 
tell me about your dad. <laughs> tell me about your mom. Tell me about your granddad. Tell me about your grandmother. Tell me about any abuse that you've had. I'm going to harass you. You're destroying the microphone. This is personal development. This is landmark. We transform lives. It's so amazing. Even the people that are enrolled in it can't really tell you what's going on. They just say that it's so transformative and amazing. And I attribute everything positive in my life. Just like if I, when I was in an MLM taking a course on manifestation and I'd find $20 in my pocket and I would say, wow, this is because I've reprogrammed repro my subconscious and I am living in abundance now. Anything that happens is seen through this lens of being in the cult, the lens of landmark. All success is attributed to landmark. You find $20 in a pocket, an old coat pocket. <gasps> you get a job. <gasps> it must be because of landmark. There's before landmark and after landmark. There's before rank makers. There's after rank makers. There's before MLM. There's after MLM. <laughs> go watch, go listen to Life After MLM. Great podcast. <laughs> um, and David says, more recently, I contacted the main French cult advice association, Unadfi, in the hope of getting Robert's book translated into French. I've not heard a word in response. What? That's odd that the French cult advice association is ignoring you. <laughs> That's suspicious. Hmm. Well, David, it's probably your misinterpretation of things. They're not getting back to you is really your fault. <laughs> Don't believe me, just ask Alain. Problem. Oui, il y a une bande je ne sais plus quoi. Mais je veux dire, quand vous avez dans la même semaine euh, euh, peut-être quatre appels, vous êtes saturé. D'accord, mais vous appelez ça du harcèlement. Oui, j'appelle ça du harcèlement. Mais est-ce que c'est du harcèlement Ah oui. C'est parce que vous l'interprétez comme ça. Vous pouvez aussi l'interpréter autrement. Comment J'en sais rien, des gens qui vous appellent pour vous soutenir parce qu'ils sont engagés à ce qu'il se passe quelque chose pour vous Au total, un échange de 15 minutes. Visiblement, la critique est difficile. Nous allons faire une pause de 30 minutes. Il est actuellement 16h10. Ouais, 16h10. Soyez de retour. Assis sur vos chaises, prêt à recommencer à 16h40. C'était utile, merci. Durant la pause, nous nous dirigeons vers le bar de l'hôtel. Nous y retrouvons Muriel qui se plaignait du harcèlement. Pour elle, la violence verbale d'Alain Roth est inacceptable. Moi, je trouve que c'est un petit peu un peu terroriste dans la manière de faire. Pourquoi terroriste Soudain, notre conversation s'interrompt. Alain Roth vient en personne convaincre Muriel de ne pas quitter le cours. Wow, this is dark. Wow. Wow, this is peeking behind the curtain for sure of what goes on. Oh my God, this is so messed up. Quelques minutes plus tard, l'opération séduction est réussie. Muriel a changé d'avis. Of course it's successful. This is what happened. I've seen this happen. I've had this happen to me. Keep in mind what we saw happen there. He told her that she was misinterpreting it, that it wasn't harassment, that she's destroying the phone, and then he comes over there. This is that intermittent... Um, that intermittent love, this is a cult tactic where, and this happens in abusive relationships too. This is where a, a, tra a trauma bond, a traumatic bond is formed with the abuser and the abused. So it's very easy to destabilize someone. You just give them random um, praise, love, attention, and then you take it away and then it's like, bang. 
So you don't know when it's going to come. So how how unstable is this where she was just like, this is a this is a bit terrorist. And then she says, no, he's really great. To flip the switch like that. These are sophisticated techniques at fucking with people's minds. Oh man, this breaks my heart. Yeah, this is so dark. Interesting, they're suddenly calling a break. It is. Yeah, good catch, Lisa. Uh, David says, landmark is an obvious racket, but notice how none of these French cult experts or journalists use such accurate terminology. You're right. You're right. Uh, and Jess says, harassment isn't support. This is extremely heartbreaking. Yes. He singled her out. And because of this attention, there's a really good chance. I would predict there's a good chance that she would sign up for this course and be one of his like staunchest defenders and really good recruiters until maybe she gets out one day. I hope she doesn't. I hope I, that doesn't come true, but that's, I could, I can see that happening. Non, j'ai senti un truc d'aller chercher des choses profondément. Que... Il est 21h30. La journée est bientôt terminée. Mais avant de partir, un dernier exercice nous attend. Pour celui-ci, Alain Rod nous demande d'abord de fermer les yeux. Personne ne va rentrer dans cette salle, donc vous n'avez pas à vous inquiéter. Et voilà ce que je voudrais que vous soyez en train de créer. Il y a deux personnes qui sont assises à côté de vous. Commencez à créer l'expérience que vous, vous avez peur des deux personnes qui sont assises à côté de vous. Regardez si vous êtes prêts à faire cette expérience, que vous êtes terrorisé, terrorisé par les deux personnes qui sont assises à côté de vous. Laissez entrer la peur dans votre corps, dans votre respiration, dans vos tripes. Votre vie tout entière. Séance d'introspection parfaitement orchestrée par le coach. Aucune improvisation. Tout est écrit. Vous êtes en train d'essayer de vous échapper. Il n'y a nulle part où aller. Comment continuer à être avec vous-même et à être présent Au premier rang, l'homme en rouge va craquer. Quand vous étiez un petit garçon ou une petite fille, vous vous êtes dit jamais, jamais je revivrai ça. À ces mots, il éclate en sanglots. Vous avez décidé qui valait mieux ne plus rien ressentir que de souffrir comme vous l'avez fait. Et votre vie tout entière est devenue à propos de faire en sorte que cette souffrance vous n'en fassiez plus jamais l'expérience. À ce moment-là, vous vous êtes donné la mort à vous-même. Cela fait déjà plus de 48 heures que le stage a débuté. La fatigue physique et morale commence à se faire sentir parmi les stagiaires. Oh my God. And people are going to believe that this is healing them. This part reminded me, I wonder like how this continued on because this also reminds me of watching the vow when they'd have like Nancy Salzman going on about imagine the worst thing, horrible. And then now imagine being like happy and free. And then it would like go faster and faster. There was like a segment in there where they were talking about that. That's what it kind of like reminded me of at first. The script. Yeah. David says, um, the landmark, the landmark cultic racket essentially comprises peddling a secret life, transforming knowledge, part of the price being the surrender of your critical faculties. It doesn't really matter what the made up name is over the entrance to these blame the victim cultic rackets. They are all essentially the same. Yeah. CM says true predators. Yeah. Des années plus tard, ceux qui sont passés par là se souviennent encore de l'expérience. Ça a été extrêmement pénible. Extrêmement pénible parce que, parce qu'on est, d'abord, on est coupé de tout. Ça commence à, à 8 heures le matin, on termine à 10 heures le soir. Euh, il y a une pause repas à 5 heures l'après-midi. Euh, on est juste autorisé à boire et encore à des moments précis. On n'a on aucun contact avec l'extérieur. Nous sommes dans une salle éclairée à la lumière électrique puisque les rideaux sont... Donc on ne sait plus, on perd la notion du temps. C'est difficile de prendre du recul, c'est pas possible. Et, euh, et c'est ça que justement ce que j'ai compris, c'est que l'on ne on, on laisse pas prendre le recul. Il n'y a pas d'esprit critique possible Je crois qu'on n'a pas le temps de... Justement, c'est par rapport à ça. On ne peut pas avoir le... Wow, did he ever say that right? We don't have time to. We didn't have time to critically think. God, that's totally it. 
That's what it was like. That's what it was like an MLM. Now you see so many people so busy making videos, prospecting people, doing all these trainings. Wow. Champagne hand said, this is so important. Yeah. Pas de recul. C'est qu'à un moment donné, vos défenses tombent. Et vous acceptez, c'est pas que vous acceptez, mais vous jouez, vous rentrez dans le... Si vous ne rentrez pas, ça ne peut pas marcher. Brigitte Tellier, euh, Pierre, je rappelle que vous êtes d'anciens stagiaires de Landmark Éducation. Vous avez euh, vécu ce moment de, de retour euh, aux peurs de la petite enfance. Euh, Qu'est-ce que vous avez ressenti Ok, ce... for God's sakes, please let her be a bit more kind and fucking gracious asking this. Like, you live through your childhood fears. It's like, my God, the setup to this is not good. On the whole, I'm like really happy with this documentary, but like, Oh my God, there's some like really heavy handed, horrible questions, the way this is going out. À ce moment précis, moi je l'ai pris comme un jeu de sa part, un jeu qui fait très très peur, mais un jeu quand même. Donc je n'ai pas voulu rentrer euh, dans ce mécanisme. J'avais compris que je n'étais pas au bon endroit pour moi-même. Déjà Déjà. Alors bien sûr, j'ai fait comme tout le monde, et, et ce qui est effrayant là-dedans, c'est de voir, comme on vient de le voir dans ce reportage, les gens qui à nouveau craquent, pleurent, c'est de la violence morale. Pourquoi, dans un stage de développement personnel, faire ressortir la souffrance Bingo, right there. Why, in a personal development workshop, bring out suffering through abuse Why, indeed, Landmark Forum, MLM coaching, MLM, why, in a personal development workshop, bring out suffering through abuse Excellent question. The made-up cult names should really be ignored. We should perhaps give them identification numbers based on the date of their appearance, like viruses. France, par la violence, faire ressortir les peurs. Même chose pour vous, Pierre. Oui, je me souviens très très bien de l'exercice, mais je ne suis pas, je l'ai pas fait jusqu'au bout. J'ai trouvé ça imbécile. Je ne suis pas du tout rentré dans ce chose-là, et j'ai ouvert les yeux et j'ai regardé. Et quand on ouvre les yeux, c'est affligeant. Alors, il y, y en a quand même qui ricanent, il ne faut pas se leurrer, hein, on n'est pas 200 abrutis à entendre tout. Il y a des gens qui ricanent, il y a des gens qui jouent plus ou moins le jeu, mais vous avez des gens qui sont complètement pris et qui craquent comme ce monsieur, absolument. Je vais vous dire, tout le monde dans MLM, nous serions tous pris et nous serions tous pris. Ce serait tellement so facile. Tout le monde dans Rank Makers, tous de nous, tous de nous serions crying, tous de nous serions. Alors, Christian Lujan nous a, nous a rejoint sur ce plateau. Vous êtes petit. Also, what I think is really good is that there's so many more and more people speaking out of being part of multi-level marketing where they're open about this, reducing that stigma, like what Roberta Blevin says in Life After M, like the stigma of shame, you know. Rosie Posey says, um, even the phrasing of it being a game rather than an exercise, good catch. Games shouldn't make you cry and break down. Yes, always with the language, right? So good. Good observation. Psychosociologue et psychanalyste, pourquoi est-ce que Alain Roth fait revenir justement ces, ces peurs de l'enfance euh, Ça sert à quoi de provoquer ça Il est en position de toute puissance et on est dans un dispositif où il n'y a aucune place pour le sujet. Les individus sont objets, objets de sa toute puissance. Tout est codé, le langage est codé, tout est organisé, tout est structuré. L'objectif, c'est la déstabilisation de l'individu et une négation, j'insiste là-dessus, de la notion de sujet. C'est-à-dire que l'individu n'est pas porteur de son histoire, on sait ce qui est bon pour lui. À aucun moment, il y a la possibilité, dans un exercice comme ça, de faire cette idée personnelle. Alors justement, Jean-Pierre Jougla, vous qui êtes spécialiste des, des manipulations mentales, on est très frappé hein, quand on voit le début de cette séquence où, où Muriel ne peut même pas poser une question. Qu'est-ce qu qui se passe à ce moment-là bah, Il se moque complètement de la réponse qu'elle peut, qu peut avoir. Hein. Ce n'est pas le problème. Le problème, c'est la mise en place de l'emprise. Et là, moi, ce qui me terrorise, c'est qu'en très peu de temps, trois jours, quatre jours, on insiste à ce qu'il se met en place dans une secte au bout de deux, trois années. Well, boy, he needs to update his files now because if he's seen how fast people are indoctrinated into multi-level marketing with the, the spread of social media, he thinks three to four days is impressive. Holy shit. It's much faster than that now. Il y a une accélération du phénomène sectaire. Et le fait de réveiller des terreurs enfantines, ce n'est pas anodin. C'est replacer ceux, en tout cas, des patients, enfin des, 
des stagiaires qui veulent jouer le jeu dans une situation d'enfant. And I just got to say this to Rosie because you pointed this out, the use of the word game. And now he, as an expert, is saying game. It's not game, it's abuse. He's adopted the language of the cult to talk about what's going on in the cult. When it was the woman that had participated in it, she called emotional abuse. But then you have someone saying, the person that participated in the game. It is, you're right, it is not a game. This is not harmless, putting them in the position of a child. This is very insightful. I wonder why this documentary was banned for so long. <laughs> I don't see why Landmark wouldn't want anybody to see this. <laughs> um, yes, I have been watching the momentum of SPTV making it less and less possible for Scientology to fight back because they cannot stand up to the wealth of criticism. Exactly. And a game is harmless, so you let your guard down. Landmark has been so under the proverbial radar. They have successfully controlled the narrative for years. CM, I feel like in France, MLM are not spread as much in North America, but we have a lot of personal development groups or experts that tends to be cultish and in my opinion, seems dangerous. And the same, the same red flags are in all cults, the same behaviors. So whether you're speaking out on a political cult or a religious cult or a commercial cult, hopefully people can start seeing that this isn't okay. This isn't how you treat people. This isn't healthy. This isn't personal development. And this was made in 2003 or 2004. Ce qui permet de mettre en place le lien d'emprise avec le gourou. Parce que là, vous avez une relation de type incestuel entre un père tout puissant et un enfant qui est, même, qui est privé même du, de, du doute, enfin de la remise en question, de l'esprit critique. Il n'a plus qu'à écouter. Reprenons notre voyage au cœur de Landmark Éducation. Les stagiaires entament leur troisième jour de forum. Beaucoup d'entre eux sont épuisés, ils s'attendent à de nouvelles épreuves, mais le ton va radicalement changer. Dimanche matin, dans le nord de Paris, le stage de développement personnel de la société Landmark Éducation se poursuit. C'est le troisième jour. À l'entrée de la salle, deux assistants. Leur mission, distribuer les badges aux participants. Pour eux, être bénévole à Landmark Éducation a bouleversé leur vie. Tu avais gardé le badge avec moi Ah, vilain garçon. Ouais. <rire> vous, vous êtes bénévole ici Ça fait longtemps Non, c'est la deuxième fois que je fais ça. Et on sent vraiment l'évolution de... Ma famille me trouve radicalement transformée. Dans mon univers professionnel, on me fait confiance comme on ne faisait pas confiance. Je, pour ces gens qui ont une vie ordinaire, je suis presque devenu un référent dans le boulot, alors que je n'ai pas ah ouais. plus de compétences techniques. Mais parce que tu as trouvé, quelles étaient les possibilités que tu avais envie de créer Oui, parce que j'affirme les choses, parce que, parce que je prends en compte ce que les gens disent, parce que je, je suis présent aux gens, parce que je suis présent à tout le monde, aussi bien à mes collègues que mes jeunes. Non, moi, c'est le lendemain qui m'a transformé. Cet homme nous avoue alors Anybody faire autour de that says something has transformed them. You're in a cult. <laughs> That's the easiest giveaway. It's completely transformed me. No thanks. <laughs> nope. Oui, un intense recrutement. J'ai mon ex et tout, j'ai ma fille qui va venir, j'ai des collègues qui vont venir. And here we go, the recruitment. Third day is probably all about recruitment. Like he's already talking about recruitment. J'ai des gens avec qui je bosse dans des asso associations qui vont venir. Ils sont fous, ils sont fous. Dans mon café. Tu vas voir, bah viens, je t'invite à une présentation. Ah ouais. Ah ouais, il n'y a pas de secret. Hein. Aujourd'hui, le cours va prendre un nouveau tour. Terminer les insultes, oublier les humiliations publiques. Aujourd'hui, aux 84 participants du stage, Alain Roth va proposer ce qui est, selon lui, une autre manière de vivre. Alors comment on fait pour être authentique Alors voilà la très mauvaise nouvelle. Ça commence pour tout le monde, sans exception, par être authentique à propos de votre inauthenticité. Ça commence comme ça. Donc on... That totally makes sense. Be authentic through your inauthenticity. You need to be authentic through your inauthenticity. Well done. More word salad. Differently Normal says, do they still have to pay to attend when they volunteer? Excellent question. 
I don't know. Using volunteers, just like Tony Robbins seminars. I didn't know that. Hmm. On les gens pas en disant je suis un mec génial, pensez positive. On en les gens en disant je voudrais parler de moi, je viens de découvrir que je suis un enfant. Pour les besoins de sa démonstration, Alain Roth incite Jacques, un médecin, père de famille, à appeler son fils pour lui demander pardon. Mot à mot face à Alain Roth. To call his son to ask for forgiveness. There it is. So maybe it's on the third day. Maybe, I don't know what it's like now in Landmark, but there it is. Like call your son and ask for your for forgiveness. Call your mother, call your father. Here it's happening. Yes, you can see the cat. Let's do a little bit of a cat break here. Or her name is Sienna. <laughs> She's going to um, comment on the next part here. Let's just go like this. Sienna is not happy. <laughs> hey, Erica. Oh, I'm unable to do that. Oops. I fucked it up. <laughs> Sorry. I had my camera. I, I'm trying to be funny here. I'm trying to do this and I just messed it up. I'll get this playing again. Jacques répète alors sa leçon. Je t'appelle parce que je pense à toi. D'accord. Je viens de réfléchir à la relation qu'on a ensemble. Ouais. Et je suis pas dans la bonne lignée avec toi. Ouais. Et ce que j'ai voulu pour toi, c'était pour me faire plaisir à moi. Ouais. Et j'ai pas tellement pensé à toi. D'accord. Ça, j'aurais que ça s'arrête. Ouais. Est-ce que tu veux m'aider pour le faire Non, et j'ai créé la possibilité. J'ai créé la possibilité. Et je crée la possibilité en t'appelant qu'on puisse en parler ensemble. Non, d'être ton père. Il sera touché, ému. Ah oh, oui. Non, pas oh oui. Il sera touché, ému. Oui. Je vais faire en sorte qu'il le soit. Une fois ces phrases bien apprises, Alain Roth demande à. Oh God. This is emotional. This is emotional manipulation, isn't it? This calling of healing the relationship, apparently is just about emotionally manipulating people because then maybe you could recruit them into the cult. And if they don't come in, then it's practice to be sharpening that ax to chop down the trees of resistance to use that emotional manipulation on other people, I bet. What do you think? And it's like differently normal. It's like, that is one very cute, grumpy cat. She just has that face. She just looks like that. <laughs> Um, I saw uh, David had said something here. Here we go. Cults can be described as games, but this must be qualified. Cults are pay through the nose to play games of make believe that ill informed victims have been tricked into accepting as reality. <laughs> Champagne says, I send Sienna Pats. If preventative mental health care was more accessible, then I think we would see fewer groups like this. Yes. Rosie says, <laughs> beautiful kitty. À chacun d'écrire à ses parents ou de téléphoner à des amis dans un seul et unique but, se faire pardonner. La plupart des stagiaires s'exécutent. To ask for forgiveness. And what we saw, rank makers, play to win season two, call them up, not calling them up, write a letter and ask for forgiveness. Look at what they're doing right now. Writing the letter. They're writing it down. In play to win, they had to write it and then they had to burn it. But they had to video it. They had to read. They, they needed to get that video of them crying, breaking down, reading this letter, asking for forgiveness. Je voulais juste euh, m'entretenir avec euh, maman juste euh, trois minutes. Euh, Retour dans la salle, Jacques, le père de famille, livre alors à l'assistance le détail de sa conversation avec son fils. Pour faire la conversation rapidement en cours. Salut mon grand, je suis en train de faire quelque chose qui est en rapport avec toi. J'ai parlé de toi parce que c'était l'objet de, de ma venue à ce, à ce forum et je me suis aperçu d'une chose, c'est que j'ai passé ma vie à t'emmerder de façon à ce que tu, aies, que tu sois un joli bijou pour moi et une image qui flatte ma propre personne. Le gamin craque, bon, il pleure et puis je lui dis bah, « écoute, moi je te propose une solution ». C'est maintenant d'être ton père et d'être là pour t'aider, pas pour t'emmerder en permanence, pour t'aider. Est-ce que tu me veux comme père, comme ça Ah, le gamin, il me dit, ah oui, oui, ah oui, je prends. Il dit, bah écoute, on en reparle, je t'aime. Il me dit, je t'aime, j'avais pas dit ça depuis 25 ans. Ah. 
Le yeah, that's great. Yeah, woohoo. I stood on the stage and I had a phone call and I talked about this. What the fuck did you do? I am not impressed with you getting off a phone call and saying all the things that you said that you're going to do from now on. Anybody can say anything. What did you do? Did this relationship last? Did you stay true to your word, what you were going to do? Or did you try to use this to recruit him into Landmark for him? What do all these people, what actually happened afterwards? Or did they just start attending more and more Landmark Forum courses, moving up the ranks, similar to Scientology? Because you can't just take one course. You have to have a prerequisite of courses. This isn't something to be applauded. You've done nothing. You've accomplished nothing. You've just done this weird ass exercise and effectively emotionally manipulated a family member. Everybody's clapping because you said, I love you. You haven't said that in 25 years. Is that a good thing? I don't know. You'd like to think it's a good thing, but when it's come at this cost of you being brainwashed and now you're, I'm giving you this love after I've attended this forum, come with me, son, into this amazing group of like-minded people. It'll change your life too. This is so fucked up. I'll show you Sienna again. <laughs> Here she is. Aurie est générale. Comme Jacques, beaucoup de stagiaires sont sous le charme. La suite de l'exercice est édifiante. Nous devons maintenant apprendre à aider les autres. Comment faire en les invitant à une soirée de longue And there it is. And it's all about recruitment. It's all about recruitment. Invite others into the Landmark Education Program. You've been day one, we beat you down. Day two and day three, recruit. Isn't this amazing? Call a family member, ask for forgiveness, and then invite them to this amazing opportunity. David says, watch, you are watching here. What you are watching here is a psychological experiment being inflicted on subjects without their fully informed consent. Exactly. Hello, Jackie, unfiltered. And Charlie says, not everybody wants to be fixed. Yeah, because not everybody thinks they're broken. Differently normal. Thing is, the more people you recruit, the harder it is to even consider that it's a cult. Because you, if you accept that it's a cult, that means you helped indoctrinate your family. Yes. And the exact same thing is with MLM. You have to accept. You have to reconcile that you have hurt people. Your friends, your family, maybe people that you didn't know at first, but they became friends. You really believed you were helping them. And you brought them into the cult. Yeah, you totally nailed it. God, these comments are so good. Ce qui ultimement fait la dignité de ce que c'est qu'être un être humain, c'est de se dresser pour faire une différence dans la vie des autres. Si vous pouviez redonner à vos parents le goût d'être ensemble, à votre père et son frère le bonheur d'être frère, et vous avec votre frère, et à votre femme le goût de vivre, il n'y a pas une chose qui vous rend plus heureux que ça. Alors seulement d'avoir le courage de dire ceci sera. Maintenant, il y a un chemin qui mène, ça s'appelle le temps. And it's called the forum. This is just like Monations. These fuckers could be selling shampoo. And then we all come back from Monations and we're all jacked up and we're all using our new strategies and scripts and be like, it shall be, it's called Monations or um, Arbanize Your House or Amway or WFG or Primerica or Herbalife, any multi-level marketing company, doTERRA, Young Living, Saint Makeup, Tory Bell, Owners going into bankruptcy for the second time. Is the company still in existence? I don't know. <laughs> it's called the forum. There is one path that takes you there. Just imagine your family, your wife, a taste for life again. There is a way, there is a path, and it's called the forum. This is not culty at all. <laughs> N'est-ce pas? <laughs> Celui-là, il est efficace, il dure trois jours et demi. Est-ce que ça fait plus de clients pour l'enmarque éducation Oui. Et alors Il est presque minuit. 
avant que le stage ne se termine. Surprise, Alain Roth nous a réservé encore quelques devoirs à faire. Partager avec au moins trois personnes qui n'ont pas fait de Landmark Forum. Oh, no way! At least three people who haven't done Landmark Forum reach out to them tonight. This might... Landmark, I'll tell you this, your fatal error was not becoming an MLM. I'm telling you right now, you could have made so much more money just by being an MLM. Maybe you will become an MLM after I've given you this idea. <laughs> Do you know how well this would fit in to all multi-level marketing? You could just, you could make up, oh fuck, get this. You could become a personal development multi-level marketing company. You have technology, you have courses like three days that people need to attend. I don't think the world has ever seen anything quite like this. All you have to do is go out and recruit three people, invite them to your graduation. And then when they see all of this amazing community, how proud they are of you, your transformation. All they can go out and they can recruit three people each too. And those three people can recruit three people. And those three people can recruit three people. <laughs> they could sell self-help books. They could. Um... Sorry, thank you. Comme ça faisait partie de nos exercices et que nous étions là pour ça, on les faisait les exercices. Donc on a passé des, moi j'ai passé des, on a passé des soirées au téléphone à contacter de, sur le lieu du travail, sur le, le sur, oui, c'était pas si difficile que ça puisqu'on était là pour ça que ça faisait, ça rentrait dans les exercices. On n'a pas poussé à inviter mes parents. C'est moi qui ai décidé que ce soit mes parents, mais on nous a poussé à inviter des gens qui étaient proches et avec qui on a eu des moments où on était inauthentique et de pouvoir leur expliquer. Mardi soir, un autre grand hôtel parisien. C'est ici que se déroule l'ultime soirée du stage Landmark. Un stage commencé quatre jours plus tôt. Venu avec un complice qui joue le rôle d'invité, nous croisons Jacques, le médecin. Bonjour, Laurent. Enchanté. Ça va Bonjour. Alors, il vous a... ça va Lui aussi a respecté la promesse faite à Alain. This is how you get recruited into a cult. So there, this is under the. Um, I'm going to this graduation. I did this personal development thing. Can you come and celebrate my achievement with me? Of course I will. I love you. I'm so proud of you for doing something that you like. I haven't heard of this thing, but I see that you want me to celebrate your success. Of course I'll come. And that's how you get, that's how, this is another sneaky way how cult recruitment can happen. Get to your loved ones. Didn't think, I'm just supporting a friend or family member. What could possibly go wrong? Rot, sa mère l'accompagne. Ouais, euh, mon meilleur ami. Un garçon. Ouais. Il a décidé de lui, Fidèles à leur engagement, chacun des 84 participants du forum arrive, accompagné d'un, de deux, voire de trois invités. Au total, plus de 250 personnes sont réunies ce soir. Rassemblés dans une grande salle, Alain Roth demande aux stagiaires de venir au micro pour dire du bien de Landmark, histoire d'inciter les nouveaux venus à suivre les cours. Les testimonials, similaires au site web qu'ils ont en train de juste prier. Remember... What an interesting way to bracket, like the bracketing of Landmark. It starts with them getting each of the participants up there and putting them in the hot seat. That one woman, 50 minutes, he humiliated her, told her to kill herself because this is how effective personal development goes. This is what, this is totally ethical. This is fine. And now at the end, every single one of these people are going to be going up there giving their testimonial. Before I joined Landmark, I wasn't confident. I wasn't the go-to guy. Now I am so present with my colleagues, even with my boss. They're wondering, how do you do it, Bob? And I tell them, it's Landmark Forum. You should come. <laughs> I just need to invite three people. Champagne hands. <laughs> 
if my story of my father trying to low key traffic me to the States, by all means, go ahead. Arlene, Arlene says, finally caught alive. Welcome. And David says, in the final analysis, all cults have been impermissible psychological experiments inflicted on persons without their fully informed consent. Did I already read this comment? Um, no, it's a duplicate. It's similar and it's really good. But I did remember reading part of it and it's so good it bears repeating. I'm going to leave it up there. And Rosie says there must be a playbook somewhere that inspires all these groups. And there is because they all do the same thing. Differently Normal says, I bet the guests don't get told to kill themselves, at least not until after they hand over their money. Because you wouldn't join it if you were told that. If you were told you're going to join this personal development group and you can't get any information out of your friends that are so excited for you to join. They're like, you just have to do it. I can't tell you all about it. That would ruin it. That's also a red flag of a cult. If I told you they were going to tell you to kill yourself, you would misinterpret it. You would be thinking negative. <laughs> you wouldn't understand the context of the way that was, which was said to you. Because there's so many ways in which you can just yell at somebody like that. Tell them to do that in a front room with 80 strangers after they've like been totally vulnerable. That's okay to do that. You just don't understand. We're different. Our group is different. We do it differently here. We're a faith-based MLM. <laughs> Holy fuck. I feel alive like I've never felt before. And how long it will last, it won't last. Because this is what happens in MLMs. You get to an event and then your momentum you're all jacked up. You feel great. And they're going to tell you this. But then as soon as you get home, three days go by, a week goes by, two weeks go by, and you've slid off right into your sluggish self again. You're not in momentum. You've made all these promises. That's why you need to get to the next event. And that's people are like, I feel so alive. This is three days. Where the fuck are you at in three years? I want to see the long-term effects here. Where are your relationships now? Are all your family haters because they tell you you're in a pyramid scheme or a cult? How are these family relationships doing now? How much money have you given to Landmark? Do you track your expenses or are they considered investments in yourself? David says, the coordinated devious techniques of persuasion used by cultic groups are as old as the hills. The accurate, accurate explanation of how they function can actually be read as the playbook. Je vous promets, c'est extraordinaire. C'est pas extraordinaire, on va me dire que c'est pas extraordinaire. Mais le choix qu'on peut faire d'être responsable dans sa vie. C'est la possibilité. Oui. <rire> Elle est là. C'est la possibilité d'être en hostilité, quelles que soient les circonstances. Et aujourd'hui, chez le club opératoire, j'ai opéré comme jamais j'ai opéré. En toute simplicité, toute la salle était en pleine forme. Mon assistant ne me reconnaît pas. Donc, Imagine the doctors, like, I just, I'm so aware. I'm like, oh, right before you go under, he's going to like put, like, this is the anesthesiologist I'm going to be like performing surgery on you. And I just came back from landmark form. I'd be like, get me out of here. <laughs> be running. You have the, um, the little hospital gown and it's like your butt, it's like flapping and you just, you're just like sprinting out. You're like, you're running down the street. You're like, no, <laughs> you're not operating on me. <sighs> Si vous avez 5 minutes à perdre, 3 jours, n'hésitez pas, vous faites ça, quelle que soit votre application dans la vie, nous sommes vraiment. The next day, that doctor signed up for Melaleuca because he found their tea tree oil was unsurpassed in quality, ingredients, and caliber of oil. <laughs> Après ce florilège de témoignages, tous plus élogieux les uns que les autres, 
Chaque nouvel invité est alors pris à part. Dans une salle tout à côté, selon un rituel bien rodé, des animateurs vont encore tenter de les convaincre de s'inscrire. Quand on a été isolé, parce qu'on était donc il y avait une, une assemblée plénière où on présente les choses, là j'ai rien compris. Je me dis, ils sont fous. Et puis ensuite, les invités étaient regroupés par petites salles où on leur expliquait un petit peu ce que ça allait changer dans leur vie, etc. Et tout le reste de la séance n'a été que séduction. Il fallait à tout prix que je m'inscrive. C'est vrai qu'ils ont déployé des trésors d'énergie. Ils m'ont beaucoup valorisé. J'étais un être tout à fait exceptionnel et que j'allais m'ouvrir une autoroute à quatre voies euh, devant ma vie. Ils m'ont promis euh, des résultats exceptionnels, euh, dans le sens où ça va changer votre vie, sans vous, sans vous expliquer concrètement ce que ça va être. Mais bon, ça, on va, on va, vous allez avoir des résultats exceptionnels. Without explaining what it means, and this is what's so important. Like I look at people that are still caught up in rank makers and Um, and I see them all saying this. This has completely changed my life. They can't pin down what they're talking about. They're, they're saying the same thing that all these other people say, that I said too. My life has completely changed. I'm so happy and grateful. For what? What has happened? Nothing has changed. You're just enchained, in, in chains to the group. And just talking about how wonderful it is. And you can't actually say anything good that's happened. The doctor, I was more clear than I ever was. Really? Is that quantifiable? Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter how educated you are. You can get sucked into one of these things. Let me read your comments again. Someone I know, the long-term effect was she brought the others to live with her into her apartment. It was an abusive situation. Oh, Rosie, I'm so sorry that that happened. Oh, no. Uh, Champagne Hand says, I want so much to ask how much my dad's side of the family sank into this cult, but we're finally able to have a relationship where a landmark won't be mentioned, so I guess I'll never know. You never know. At least you can have a relationship. And that's important. And maybe they'll wake up, you know. Oh, it's rough. David says, for obvious reasons, no MLM cult boss has ever claimed the modus operandi of an MLM racket as his or her intellectual property. Mm. Factress, hello, Factress. Differently Normal says, notice how they sell improve your life, but none of what has been covered actually improves your life. It hasn't fixed their relationships or gotten them a new job or a better home. Nope. But if anything does happen in the future, anything positive will be attributed to Landmark Forum. Anything negative will be their limiting mindset, their limiting beliefs, their scarcity mindset, oh, acting like a victim. That's what will happen. And then they'll buy more courses. So in what way has their life been improved? Exactly. Lisa says, isolating the guests for the hard sell reminds me of a timeshare presentation. I was going to say that. I was going to say that too. I really was going to say that, Lisa. I'm not just making that up. Et c'est ce que vous m'avez dit, mais mes deux amis. Donc moi, je suis toujours dans le truc, donc je crois toujours que je vais avoir des résultats exceptionnels. Donc je dis, ouais, pourquoi pas, on va voir. Quant aux stagiaires du forum, le développement personnel n'en est qu'à ses débuts. Il nous est alors vivement recommandé de poursuivre l'apprentissage en souscrivant à un autre stage. It will revolutionize your existence. Just think how much you've transformed in these three days. Now, oh, there's so many more courses. This will revolutionize your existence. Sign me up. And I did. Factress says, my parents always feel alive after an Amway meeting, yet more than 30 years later, they are worse off than when they started in every way. 30 years in Amway, you know. I don't know what to say. I, I think of this and I think of... I think of me being in for five years and I'm like, fuck, I could have been in for longer, you know? 30 years is a long time. Oh my God. David says, um, 
no cult boss no cult boss has ever claimed the modus operandi of a cultic racket as his or her intellectual property. Literally anyone can instigate a cult. The law still does not recognize the cult phenomenon. Oh, the places you'll go. Yeah. Why is the under, uh, undercover guy referring to it as personal development? Yeah. Good catch there too. Same as the game. It's a squid games. Oh, euh, ça vaut euh, chaque euh, euro et même chaque euh, dixième d'euro et chaque minute euh, que vous allez y passer. Euh, et je suis clair aussi que si vous saviez euh, le genre de résultat que vous avancer peut produire, comment ce sera déjà sûr. If you only knew the, the results, the advanced courses will. Oh, you don't have a lot of money? That's all the more reason to invest in our courses. That's all the more reason to invest in your new business opportunity. You don't have time and money freedom? That's all the more reason to join our MLM. We're different. We're not an MLM. We're social selling. We're social sharing. We're network marketing. We're direct selling. <laughs> no! But if you sign up tonight, you get a special deal. This is exactly like MLM, exactly like Rank Makers. It normally costs 620, was it 625 euros? Whatever, doesn't matter. But if you sign up by Friday at 3 p.m., it costs you only 525 euros. Wow, what a special deal. <laughs> sign me up. I did. I got sucked into all this stuff. Not Landmark, but Rank Makers and, and Monet. <laughs> I can't believe it. Even this is 2004 landmark forum. I can't even tell you what you're going to get. All the, the revel, your existence will be revolutionized. If you buy this advanced course, well, only for $625. This was probably, this was before they figured out having a seven, a 97 was more effective to get people to spend money. This was back in the day. Now they're they're probably more savvy. Now it's it would be six ninety seven. But for you, special deal just for you. If you sign up by Friday at three p.m., it'll only cost you five hundred and twenty seven euros. You can do it. Champagne hand says, "I wish I were in a position to do a highly scientific study of what benefits people think they have achieved in these groups, measured against what behavior modifications they have actually made." Pooh, I don't know how you'd do that, but boy, would that ever be interesting. Maybe he means personal development rather than personal development. <laughs> Et puis Jocelyne Berthelot nous a rejoint sur ce plateau. Vous avez vous aussi participé au forum de Landmark Education. Et vous êtes aujourd'hui encore bénévole. Here we go, the cult apologist. Because you have to have balanced journalism. Same way as Julie, why do you delete? People saying that my MLM is different because you're fucking cult apologists. And I don't want you in the comment section. Same as if you're in landmark forum and you're trying to pull that culty bullshit that I see you leaving all over the internet. If this isn't for you, this is for survivors. This is for people that are in MLMs. This is for, this is for people that have had um, been intimidated, harassed, um, shamed into silence for groups like landmark forum. They don't need more people talking about the benefits of them. Same way as we don't need more spaces on the internet people talking about the benefits of multi-level marketing. <laughs> That's why. Here we go. I can just fucking imagine. This is going to be like every MLM ever. And I know Landmark isn't an MLM, but it doesn't matter because it's the same. It's a cult. A cult is a cult. What do you think Joyce is going to say? I hope Joyce got out. Joyce, I hope you got out of Landmark. Cette société, vous regardez euh, cette émission depuis le début. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez de tout ce qui a été dit depuis le début de cette émission Eh bien, je suis suffoquée. Je, moi, je n'ai rien vu de tout ce que j'ai vu à, à la télévision. Moi, je n'ai rien vu dans ce que j'ai vécu. Pour moi, c'était une expérience formidable et euh, je suis suffoquée. Votre implication à vous dans l'Andemark Éducation, elle date de plusieurs années J'ai participé au forum en décembre 2002. Et puis j'ai fait euh, quatre séminaires avec eux. Oui. Et puis j'ai, alors je suis pas vraiment bénévole de Landmark, j'ai juste fait, été bénévole sur un forum parce que euh, ça, pour moi, ça a été une bonne expérience, donc j'avais envie de la renouveler. Alors justement, qu'est-ce qu'ils vous ont apporté De me sentir euh, plus tranquille avec qui je suis. Euh, de, 
on, a, on, on parle de confiance en soi, ben moi, ça m'a donné confiance en moi. You can't make this shit up. D'ailleurs, c'est bien pour ça que je suis là tout de suite, parce que je crois que je serais repartie. Il y a quelques temps, je serais carrément repartie. Euh, alors, je ne mets pas en faux ce que vous êtes en train de dire. Simplement, moi, je n'ai rien vu. Mona Vasquez vous, vous écoute euh, depuis quelques minutes et je vois que vous l'écoutez avec beaucoup d'attention. Votre expérience à voile est totalement différente. Vous avez passé euh, plusieurs années en scientologie. Oh, oh fucking right. Here we go. We got the, Scientol the ex scientologist in here. Well, this is going to be good. Oh, I got to read. I got to read your comments again. David Brewer says, any observer thoughtlessly repeating the reality inverting controlling jargon of a cult demonstrates his or her dangerously low level of understanding of the cult phenomenon. <sighs> Differently normal says I'd be so pissed if I went to someone's graduation ceremony only to get there and discover I'm trapped in a pitch in another room. You're escorted to another room and they're start starting to tell you. Don't you want to have your life transformed too? <laughs> Can you imagine after all this, it's like more and more awareness is growing about cults and you, this actually happens to you or like no fucking way. <laughs> if this were, if this it is going to happen to me at some point now, I will go out with such a fucking bang. Like I will make such a hullabaloo. <laughs> Woe be to the person who tries to recruit me. <laughs> God help them. <laughs> Oh, fuck. All right, here we go. C'est-à-dire très jeune. Est-ce qu'il y a des similitudes entre ce que vous avez entendu depuis le début de cette émission et ce que vous avez vécu Oui, alors, moi aussi, je suis suffoquée. <rire> je tiens à le dire, pas de la même manière que madame. Alors, je, je vous rectifie sur une, un seul point. Je ne suis pas entrée en scientologie. On m'a prêté un livre qui avait rien, il n'y avait pas le mot scientologie. On m'a prêté un livre très intéressant. There we go. I love that she is correcting her. I didn't enter Scientology. She was deceptively recruited into it. She was given a book. It didn't have the word Scientology. That is not just a small distinction. That's, that's a very important, huge red flag that the interviewer missed, which I know that there hasn't been a lot of, um, you know, education and awareness like there is now. There's growing, but it's still there. You still see it. Um, people being interviewed or documentaries being done so, so poorly, you know, blaming the victims where it's like when you entered Scientology, no, 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 no. <laughs> Tell me what, what, how short was your skirt that you were wearing that night? <laughs> She's like, I didn't enter Scientology. Good for her. So happy to see this. C'est un ami qui m'a prêté ce livre. Mm -hmm. Donc, euh, il n'était pas, pas question pour moi de rentrer dans quelconque, un quelconque mouvement. Donc, effectivement... Mais vous y avez passé sept ans. J'y ai quand même passé sept ans, parce oui. que je ne me suis pas rendu compte, il faut préciser que l'adepte ne se rend pas compte qu'il est dans un mouvement sectaire. Sinon, il partirait en courant, mm -hmm. bien entendu. Mm -hmm. Du moment qu'il est, on peut dire, endormi, en bobo. I don't like that either, where it's like, but you spent seven years there. It's like, holy fuck, let her talk. She was just telling you, you missed something there because you had to interrupt her because you were so fucking surprised that she stayed into Scientology for seven years. She said a friend lent her the book because that's how a lot of people get into cults. It's innocuous. It's like, oh, do you just want to read this book? Yeah, okay. Sometimes it's, you know, oh, come to my graduation. It's deceiving. It was deception that got people to those guests to attend Landmark Forum, because the whole point of this was to try to recruit them, to get some, to purchase courses, to attend the three-day event. It wasn't to attend somebody's graduation. Just like her friend lent her this book. And it's like the interviewer just completely missed it, you know? I'm being harsh. Like, I'm being really harsh on this because this needs to change if people are going to, if, if more survivors are going to come forward and to speak out, people need to get fucking educated on how you talk about these topics. This isn't, this is, it's, it's just sloppy. Biné, hypnotisé, on emploie les mots qu'on veut. Il y a une, espo, une espèce de, de flou autour et bon, on ne peut pas s'en rendre compte. L'adepte est le dernier à s'en rendre mm -hmm. compte. C'est la famille qui va bouger, mais pas l'adepte. 
pour répondre à votre question, donc, euh, j'ai regardé un pointillé l'émission. Because it automatically puts the victim on the defense. Like, now she's having to defend herself. That's, that's victim blaming. You're not like, oh, how, let's talk about the egregious behavior of the perpetrator, the predator, the abuser. Oh, but why did you stay there seven years? No, 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 bring back the fucking question to like why this guy perpetuated or girl or whoever they are perpetuated abuse for seven years on all these other people too. You know, that's the, that's the problem. That's one of the problems. reportage parce que ça m'était un petit peu pénible parce que j'ai retrouvé toute la nomenclature de la scientologie il y avait un tableau blanc tout à l'heure au début du reportage oui. avec les mots exactement les mêmes mots qu'employait euh, Hubbard no the exactly the same words that Hubbard use on the whiteboard I wonder what Joyce is thinking the woman beside her that's just like I'm stupefied she's like she's looking awfully uncomfortable I'm gonna read your comments Natasha says that happened to me. My friend invited me to her graduation and I was trapped. No way. Are you serious, Natasha? Four hours. Oh my God. Four hours of your life. You'll never get back. I'm sure it transformed your life though. Just being around that many positive, like highly evolved people that have had their existence already revolutionized by landmark. <laughs> That's why they need to trap you under deceptive with like deceptive tactics for four hours to try to work on you. Dianetics, David Breer, by their very nature, pernicious cults never present themselves in their true colors. Consequently, no one ever becomes involved with one as a result of his or her fully formed consent. Differently normal. If you manage to sit through four hours, you must have the patience of a saint. The patience of a saint. We're getting on three hours of this video, right? But you can come and go as you please. <laughs> Champagne hand. I've noticed you do this thing and I had the same thing and this innocuous thing helped me. So, and that's the state of things in mainstream media in a country that was more than willing to label groups as cults. Differently normal. It's not harsh to expect her to understand a thing that's it's her job to talk about. Thank you. They would not let any of us see our friends graduate until the end. This is so fascinating that you had this experience, Natasha. Wow. I'm sorry that you went through it. That is just messed up. And then I imagine that you attended similar to what other people would. You're like, okay, I'll attend your graduation. What is this thing? I don't really know about it. Four hours? Come on. That's, that's going to play into sunk cost fallacy too, because then your time is spent, right? Ooh, they're, they're good fondateur de la Scientologie dans ses écrits au Danemark, bon, parce que la maison mère était au Danemark et j'ai travaillé au sein de la maison mère, donc au niveau européen. Donc j'ai été vraiment au cœur de la Scientologie, donc je connais très bien la nomenclature et toute la nomenclature est commune. En revanche... All of it's the same. Ooh, this is so good. Oh my goodness. She's coming out blazing. This is fantastic. This is going to, this is probably going to be a four hour video. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go on for four hours. It's like, <laughs> it'll probably be a four hour video. Sorry. <sighs> Actually, who am I kidding? This is what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Euh, je pense que c'est une ramification, je peux dire ce que je pense. Bien sûr, <rire> je bien pense sûr, que c'est parce que je pense que les, les sectes sont très très rapides et dès qu'elles sentent qu'elles sont fichées par la presse, qu'elles sont fichées dans des rapports parlementaires mm -hmm. entre autres sectes, elles se dépêchent de prendre wow. une autre ramification. Her commentary is spot on. Look at MLMs for example, being called multi-level marketing, we're direct selling, we're network marketing, social selling, social sharing. They just keep They, they keep changing. They're just like, we're not, um, we're not a multi-level marketing company. We're not a pyramid scheme. Oh, this is so nuts. So much of the cult mechanism is shown. And uh, Erica says, yes, love the long vids. Okay, good. If there's one person that likes it, then that's good. <sighs> and CM says, this documentary is gold. It is. I And you know what? Uh, hats off to Champagne Hand for letting me know about it. And Differently Normal says, it sounds like it was set up so you couldn't even leave with it looking like you're the a-hole, not landmark. Bingo. Yeah. God, that's such a good observation. These comments are so good. The comments are always good. <laughs> 
plan de, de prendre notre biais Alors, on s'est procuré euh, justement un document, euh, évidemment tenu secret par Landmark Éducation, qui est une présentation du Landmark Forum, auquel vous avez dû euh, assister, Jocelyne. Et alors, c'est assez stupéfiant, parce que euh, dès la page 1, par exemple, on remarque que euh, la présentation de début, elle ne doit faire pas plus de deux minutes. À la page 2, euh, on note qu'il faut inscrire des mots-clés sur le tableau. À la page 16, on note qu'il faut bouger la chaise sur la droite. À la page 22, qu'il faut bouger la chaise sur la gauche. Il y a même les réponses possibles des participants pour que euh, l'animateur puisse répondre et sache exactement quoi répondre. Est-ce que vous vous en êtes rendu compte de ça If this is sketchy, I don't know about this Jocelyn. Um, because if she's just somebody that has had a really positive experience, she's a victim. And so it's like, did you realize this? Like, this isn't, she should be fucking questioning Alain or some, somebody that is running these things, you know? And I don't know Jocelyn's, but this is, You're fucking around with a cult, somebody in a cult now. This is not, this is not good. She could be, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know where she's at, but just me watching this, I'm like, fuck, you do not treat people in a cult like this. It's like coming at them. This is, this is fucking playing with fire here. Ah ben, décidément, je suis suffoquée, on va y continuer. Euh, ça me semble même carrément pas possible ce que vous êtes en train de me dire. Parce que chaque personne, quand elle va partager son expérience, va dire quelque chose de différent. Ça veut dire que c'est pas possible. She's just reciting, this is the cult identity, this is what I see. She's just reciting going back into default. Like she's stupefied because it's cognitive dissonance. I can't even handle it. It's like, I can't even believe it's true. Of course she wouldn't. If she's been in, she's taken four of these things and she's so invested in. This is going to take time, not just like, are you aware of this? This is evidence. You could have all the evidence that you want and it wouldn't get through because it can't get through because it takes time to unpack, deprogram, whatever, in order to even hear it. It's not going to happen in just an interview where you suddenly see the light. You're like, holy shit, I was scammed, you know? That's not brought to this interview. Like, it's like they don't understand that what they're dealing with que Alain, pour qui, pour qui moi j'ai vraiment beaucoup d'estime. Euh... Vous l'appelez Alain Ah bah oui, pour moi c'est quelqu'un de très chouette, donc euh, je... Bon. This could be anybody talking about Ray. This could, is impossible. Because this is talking about Ray, somebody I really respect and I trust and that you're showing me this, it's impossible. That would mean that I can't. It's, I, I respect him so much. I have the utmost respect for him. I had a friend of mine telling me when I started speaking out, I had to unfriend him because I'm like, I can't even fucking handle it with this. He's like, he taught me, he made me the man I am. I'm like, he didn't make you shit. I never said that, but I'm like, you really think that he's made you a man? He's made you nothing. And that you're going to come into my DMs and tell me that? Fuck off, you know? I was still new to speaking out. He was still fucking in, but he's, I don't, I don't know if he's woken up and gotten out, but I'm like, I, can't, I fucking can't handle this. Like, Something happens to you and then someone like they, they feel the need to send you a message and tell you that your abuser made them the man they are. Why the fuck are you in my DMs? Why do you feel like that's okay to tell me that? How would you feel if that happened to you? It's it's a ridiculous question. It, it's a question that can have no answer because it's you're not dealing with people in their right minds, just like I wasn't in my right mind. It's like, we're all fucking brainwashed. It's so messy. It's so fucked up. Bon, qui est un, une trame euh, pour, pour tout son séminaire, je suis bien d'accord, mais il ne peut pas euh, prévoir ce qu'il va dire à une personne puisqu'il ne sait pas okay. ce qu'elle va okay. dire. She's making excuses for him. This is what I see go on in MLMs and in, and in, uh, in cults. But my small, tiny context of experience, you know, I'm like speaking out against rank makers But he can't plan what he's going to say since he doesn't know what he'll say. He doesn't know. He it's like, yeah, they do know because there's only a set number of objections and they've done so many of these events, they know. There's very rarely someone's going to hit them with a surprise question. There's very, there's not that many objections. You know, when I did that interview with Chris Shelton, he was like how, how easily manipulated we all are. It's kind of shocking how easily manipulated all of us are. We need to be aware of that. 
So she's defending him. She doesn't, she's just believing the believing what he has said, just straight up. But no, you don't know him. You don't know. He doesn't know what he's going to say. How do you know that? How do you really know that? You don't know anything about him. You just call him Alain. You don't know anything. You think you do. And this is like, then you multiply this by the millions of people in multi-level marketing. You don't know my company. My company is different. My upline is great. My coach is fantastic. He says he's in plan what he's going to say. He doesn't know what they're going to object to. And they believe it just like I fucking believed it. I believed all this stuff too, you know. Yeah. Chaque, chaque témoignage est différent. Et tout simplement parce qu'il se moque complètement de la réponse. Il reprend un mot dans ce que vous dites, il va rebondir dessus, il va développer, broder et faire des projections personnelles. Et vous, vous êtes en situation... This isn't right. This is not okay. This is putting her on the hot seat now. Way to go, fucking documentary. Fuck. She's already been put through this with landmark form at least four times and now they're doing the same thing with her. This is not how you fucking approach this. This is so sloppy. This is bad. CM says, uh, so much of the cult mechanism is shown. And Champagne Hand says, thank you again for doing this. Natasha says, exactly, no one, exactly, no one wants to hurt their loved one's feelings and miss their big day. Of course, I'd want to support them too, you know. The French journalist here, Elise Lucette, currently presents a hard-hitting program, Cash Investigation. I once approached the makers of this with info about MLM, but again, without any joy. Big surprise, eh? <laughs> Champagne hand says they know. This is a piss poor way to deal with people in a cult. Ganging up on them on a documentary like this. They're going to just drive her deeper in, you know? Who fucking knows? But this is not okay. You could take a fucking uh, play on what anti-MLM creators do. We're not perfect by any means. We're trying to show respect and empathy for people that we know that are still in there trying to reconcile. We wouldn't do fucking shit like this. This is so bad. Oh, wow. Oh, Champagne Hand says that's so disappointing because other she's otherwise relentless. It'd be nice to have her relentless for the uh, the perpetrator, you know. I hope, I don't know. A long, oh, this has been a long time ago. I'm just seeing one video. At what I'm seeing, I'm not really, I'm not impressed. Factress says it's hard to see cult members be confronted to the truth and not be able to grasp it. I hate seeing my parents happily praise people like Bill Britt or Dexter Yeager, Yeager when I know the damage they've done. And I used to do the same thing. You know, when I was in Rank Makers, I would, I mean, there's so many videos I've made that are only available to friends only on Facebook. And I would just sing the praises of everything that I've learned in rank makers and how happy and grateful I was. And I didn't see it. I didn't see the abuse just watching play to win. And I would defend. I would defend Ray to people saying that he was a jerk. I wouldn't even listen to it. I wouldn't even stop to think. Just like all these other people. CM says they could not uh, have the leader, so they are arguing with a victim. Great. That's a good comment. Oh, fuck. Bingo. All of these comments are great. You're like, it sounds... But they are. All of these comments really are great. <laughs> Et vous ne pouvez pas vous en apercevoir. Tout à l'heure, vous avez vu une séquence dans laquelle on demande à chacun d'entre vous de faire rentrer dans le forum deux ou trois personnes. If this guy is supposedly a cult expert, you know that this is a, a, trying to argue with someone that this doesn't work. You're going to drive her deeper in. This is horrible. You just saw a video. Don't fucking argue with her. Oh, this is such a shame. And so then I think how many other people were misguided and affected by this kind of approach. de l'entourage de la famille. Ça, c'est pour euh, Roth récupérer de nouveaux adeptes qui sont... You can't hear. 
I know for me, when I was, I've, I've talked about this before. When I was watching Lula Rich, I couldn't hear, I, I physically couldn't hear Robert Fitzpatrick. It was like a brick wall came down in my mind. I could feel it. Like, that's what it felt like. I couldn't fucking hear him. I was like, what the fuck is going on in my head? I would rewind it. I'm like trying to listen. It was, it required an enormous physical conscious. Like I'm trying to just hear what he's saying. And they're just going to sit down and just talk to you after, you know, this is so far out of their grasp of what's going on. It's just really sad to see. She needs, she needs an advocate for her to act as an intermediary or a buffer between these people who are supposed to be professionals for fuck's sakes. And what's going to happen is that this is going to be interpreted just like my commentary will be interpreted as hate, you know, when you're just like, you see yourself in these people and you see your friends in these people and you see, you have friends that are in MLMs caught up in it. immédiatement mis en confiance puisqu'ils sont appelés par quelqu'un qui leur est proche par papa, maman, le frère, la sœur, tout ce que vous voudrez des personnes à l'égard desquelles vous n'avez aucune appréhension et c'est d'autant plus fort que quand vous vous rendez compte que vous avez été roulé dans la farine on ne peut pas employer de grands mots 1, 2, 3, 4 4 against 1 It's what they say in cults. They're all going to be against you. They're all going to want to hold you back, put you back in that little box. And that's exactly what they're doing. You know, nobody, you're going to have pulled a fast one. You've been, you've been defrauded. Well, I know how I reacted and it only took a few months for me to be fully in Mon 8. I was defending Mon 8 just like she was defending Alain. I took it, I, my identity was already tied to Mon 8 and then it was tied to rank makers. So any criticism of either was an attack on my identity. That was, that was my identity. Um, David says, Elise Lucette has a reputation for terrifying the subjects of her programs investigations. Cash investigations has been running for 10 years. Thank you for elaborating on that. Champagne hand from the never ends like myself who have been deeply affected. It is so useful to hear the inside perspective truly. And thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad this is helping. I'm glad this is helpful. Differently normal. The thing is everyone thinks they wouldn't give their money to an abusive jerk. Therefore, if I give my money to someone, they can't be an abusive jerk. Champagne hand like a brick wall came down in my head. Like this is absolutely what I've needed to hear while I've been working through this stuff. The obvious question was not put to the landmark adherent. Exactly how much cash have you spent? Exactly. Exactly. She wouldn't be able to give a figure. She'd probably waffle and say it's an investment or something like that. I bet. Yeah, that's exactly it. Instead of like, they're so keen on just pointing out all the evidence as to why it's a cult, as to why it's abusive. And what does it do? And then they're mystified why it's not working. Oh my God. Ou autre, vous, avez, vous allez nourrir une culpabilité liée au fait que vous avez vous-même amené des gens dans quelque chose que vous aurez tout d'un coup découvert comme étant quelque chose. This, how he's talking about, you would bear a guilt that you suddenly discover or you've brought people into something that you suddenly discover is negative or even harmful for personal development. I didn't have the full import of that when I was in for five years, two cults, and it took me four months. This is fucking exactly like Grant Cardone. <laughs> I was in two cults for five years and it took me four months of speaking out when I got the one psychologist and did 11 sessions. And then I, <laughs> but that was it. It was four months of speaking out where then I realized the that what he's talking about, how I brought people, the full import of that hit me four months after speaking out. So she's done four courses. I don't know. We're all, we all react differently, but it didn't sink in for me until I, after four months of already speaking out and I went out guns of fucking blazing on TikTok. <laughs> Holy fuck. I was making so much content. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's still, it's, and I was self-educating. I was reading all the books, Ponzinomics, combating cult mind control, listening to life after MLM and from like from Huns to humans, I'd watch Lula Rich. <laughs> then I was watching The Vow, started to listen to a little bit culty. It's still four months afterwards. So it's like just sitting down talking to her. It would just have gone right over my head. I wouldn't have even heard it. Not saying that that's her experience and that's everyone's experience. We all have different experiences. Not all of us have the same experiences. Some of us have similar experiences, but not all of us have the same experiences. Chose de négatif, peut-être même de nuisible pour votre développement personnel. Donc là, la mécanique de la manipulation mentale, là, elle est fermée. On a, on a bouclé le cercle et il sera très difficile pour la personne qui est rentrée et qui a appris à aimer Alain Roth de pouvoir le voir comme... Who has come to love Alain Roth to see him as a manipulator. Good luck with that approach. How many times I've outlined all the abuses, showing it video, on video, and I still have people saying, Julie, you're so harsh. Why would you say that? That hasn't been my experience. They are seeing the video. They can't see the abuse because you can't see the abuse. And just sitting down there telling someone that, My friends that I showed you, there's people that in that video clip that I showed you at the beginning of this on that play to season, they're still employed by him. I think people like us speaking out, people like me, there's lost causes. There's something wrong with us. Uncoachable, we're negative, we're haters. This, this isn't even going to make sense. This, it takes time. I thought I had the answers when I woke up and got out, but it just started to unfold more and more. The more the weeks ticked by, she doesn't fucking know what she's in for. And shame on them for doing this because they should know better. This is, oh, this is so unprofessional. Ganging up on a victim. What, CM, you made a really good comment. I went, they couldn't have the leader, so they are arguing with a victim. Great, yeah, that's... That's it. Oui. On vous sent complètement ébranlé. Ah oui, 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 oui. J'ai même presque envie. Bah d'ailleurs, j'ai envie de pleurer. Oh, Parce que... Fuck, this should be going on in therapy. This is so bad. Of course she's shocked. You seem shocked. You save your hard hitting for these fuckers that are running these cults, not the victims. Jesus Christ. I'm like mad this happened in 2004. <laughs> Mais... Non, non, mais moi, j'ai rien vu de ça. Et, et franchement, pour moi, c'est quelqu'un de génial. And that's exactly how I felt. And you can look back at some of my videos. I'm still making, uh, like, I was making um, excuses for Ray. I'm like, he's, I think, he was different when I was in, and it wasn't. For me, he's a great person. This is when it starts to crumble. And it's not going to happen in one day or one hour, a one hour documentary video or interview this is going to take so much time to unpack this poor woman oh my god i hope she's doing okay oh fuck et est ce que vous me dites ça me non mais je vous assure que c'est pas pour vous mettre en difficulté franchement jocelyne et eh ben je le suis et c'est tout va bien on a le droit d'être en difficulté, mais j'arrive pas à m'expliquer comment... Enfin bon, j'ai l'impression, moi j'ai 50 ans, j'ai l'impression que je suis quand même pas... Euh... How many... This is something so many of us have... Look, at, I'm 50 years old, I feel like I don't even have half a brain. That's what so many of us have said similar things, coming out of MLM cults. Feel like I'm just, like, I don't even know how to interact with people. Like, I've, like I've just... I'm a, an alien back on the planet. I don't know how to fucking talk. I don't know how to interact. I just, that's how so many of us, we've described it like this. This needs to be mainstream knowledge. This shouldn't be a surprise. This should be like, oh yes, of course you feel like that. That's what we need. We need to get to that point. Hopefully then these things can just disappear and there's, Never any evil people in the world ever again hurting others. <laughs> They're right. Uh, avec la moitié de mon cerveau. Non, non, vous sens très bien. Et, et j'ai, franchement, euh, je suis venue ici pour dire que mon expérience, 
pour moi, c'est génial. Ce que je vois, je suis atterrée. J'ai du mal à vous croire, j'ai du mal à ne pas vous croire. Enfin, je... Très difficile. Il y a aussi autre chose dont, dont j'ai envie de vous parler euh, à tous, parce que c'est quelque chose qu'on qu voit et qu'on entend surtout, euh, à la fois chez Landmark Éducation et en Scientologie. Bah, c'est invoqué. Cog like, that was co that's cognitive dissonance, I believe. Um, it's important to have language to describe what the fuck we've gone through, but also there's like, these things can become buzzwords. And I, I don't want to, you know, resort to buzzwords, but it is an actual thing. So, but I think that's what she's describing. Jocelyn, where she's like, she's having a hard time believing you because there's that she is, she believes she's had so much benefit. She respects him. She admires him. And yet she's confronted with this information. What do you do? Because You can't, in a cult, you can't hold both things at the same time. You have to choose. And a lot of people, like, they have to choose even if you're not in a cult, right? But it's very uncomfortable to use the word and instead of or. And so now she's faced with these two things. Oof. At a moment of vulnerability, anyone, no matter what their age, sex, state of mental, physical health, level of education, can need to believe in a non-rational, cultic pseudoscience. Champagne hand. My understanding is that Landmark Forum, the easy-ish introduction, was really just taking the Scientology sales tactic of finding someone's ruin, but then running with it forever. Ooh, that's, that's a goose bump giving comment there. And David says, obedient cult adherents are granted ego-inflating names and or ranks and or titles whilst non-initiate initiates are referred to using derogatory to humanizing terms. This describes what's going on so well. Cult initiation can at first appear to be reasonable and benefits achievable, but cultic pseudoscience gradually becomes ever more costly and mystifying. Yeah, they did that for the eyeballs. Yeah, you're right. And this is why victims don't speak out. Exactly. Yeah, this poor woman, my goodness. Yeah. One hour live on TV. Ultimately, cultic pseudoscience is completely incomprehensible and its claimed benefits are never quantifiable. It's just transformative. Revolutionizes my existence. Vocabulaire qui, pour les gens qui arrivent de l'extérieur, est quasiment incompréhensible. Alors, il y a des mots, euh, bien sûr, vous les avez vous ah, entendus, oui. Jocelyne. Euh, on entend Alain Roth parler de faire un racket. Vous devez être authentique. Vous devez créer une euh, possibilité. Euh, à quoi ça sert ce détournement de vocabulaire Ça a plusieurs raisons d'être. Mais je pense que Mona pourra en. Well, it's called being in a cult. When you control the language and you redefine words, it's pretty fucking common knowledge. That's why. <laughs> I answered the question for you. <laughs> Parlez beaucoup mieux que moi en prenant comme exemple la, la scientologie. Mais la première raison, c'est que ça permet de dire des choses. Maybe, are we, I hope he's going to allow her to give her some, to give some definitions of Scientology and not speak for her. I'm sure she could give us some examples from Scientology, but I'm going to continue talking about myself right now. <rire> qui n'ont un sens que pour les gens qui ont partagé cette connaissance. Et ça donne aux gens qui ont partagé la connaissance un sentiment de supériorité, parce que quand le mot est employé, quand le terme est employé, on sait très bien qu'il ne peut pas être compris par les gens qui ne sont pas initiés. Alors on va continuer ensemble notre voyage. Je vous le disais, Pièce à Conviction ne s'est pas contenté de filmer un forum de Landmark Éducation. C'est bien une contre-enquête qui a été menée sur la société. I mean, he was right about the use of words, the redefining words, well I'm saying redefining words, the different language because there is that sense of superiority. You're inside, you're inside something exclusive. You have insider knowledge. So when I'm always fucking around using the definition of posture that we were taught in rank makers. Um, in multi-level marketing, we all misuse the word edification. In rank makers, they also talk about ILT, invest, learn, teach, this acronym. And then he, CTA delay. And then he, the ILT was ended up being ILTEE, -E, edification and whatever, whatever it was. I'm happy when I start forgetting these things. But it is, it's like, you don't, 
you know, when you hear them explain that, well, it's this thing about superiority and you feel like you have, you're inside something special, like other people, it's, they don't know, they're not in on it, but you don't think that you're not aware that's what's going on. You just feel it. You're like, I know this, I'm part of this, but you wouldn't be able to say it. You would just say, this is so transformative. It's amazing. Does that make sense? <laughs> dans ces bureaux, et le hasard a vraiment bien fait les choses lorsque l'on a proposé à notre enquêteur, Laurent Richard, de devenir bénévole au sein de Landmark. Dans le 9e arrondissement... Well, that's pretty cool, though. If their investigator was that good, he became asked to be, like, to work for Landmark? Oh, that's pretty good. That's awesome. I think we're getting near the end of this. It's at, we're at 55 minutes and this video is only 105. <laughs> right on track, right on track with how lengthy these live streams are that I do. Pour Parisien, un immeuble parmi d'autres. Le siège français de Landmark Education. Le forum s'est terminé il y a une semaine. Un appel téléphonique m'a proposé de parfaire l'apprentissage sans rien payer en devenant assistant bénévole. Toujours équipé d'une caméra cachée, j'accepte la proposition pour prolonger mon voyage au cœur de la société. Premier rendez-vous avec la directrice financière de Landmark Education. C'est elle qui va superviser mon travail à la direction des finances de l'entreprise. Oui, forcément, oui, ça m'arrange. Donc, euh, on se pose une liste là, des accords de 13 semaines, ouais. à raison de 3 heures par, par, par semaine. D'accord. On a vu ensemble que ça pouvait être modulable par la semaine. Euh, ce qu'il y a à faire, donc il y a à rentrer en fait euh, sur informatique, euh, ça se présente comme ça en fait. Ça s'appelle des DFC, donc des délits financiers euh, contrôle. Ouais. En fait, c'est la, la recette parcours de la veille. Un vrai travail de comptable. Pas de contrat, ni de salaire, aucune sécurité sociale et rien à signer. Dans cet appartement, 20 personnes travaillent en permanence. La plupart semblent avoir le même statut, bénévole. Il y en a partout, jusque dans les toilettes. T'es bénévole aussi Oui. Ah, oh, that's all you have to do. You just call them volunteers. Nobody held a gun to their head. They want to be here. If we remove one, another one's going to rush to take their place because they're all volunteers. This is totally ethical. Oh. Oui. C'est aussi ça, être bénévole Apparemment, tu vois Oui. Donc, je fais assistant là-dessus. Mais ça, voilà. oh, mais ça, ça va. Oh. <rire> Donc, je, je, non, mais ça me fait plaisir de le faire parce que je suis là pour... C'est clair pour moi. Happy to do it, and that's why I'm here. This needs to be done. This is what you'll see. This is when you're in a cult. You'll believe this. You'll say stuff like this. You would do things other that you would never do, and you will believe it. You'll believe everything you say. You won't notice it. You will lose yourself, and you'll think that you have found yourself. You will think you are your most authentic self. This individual is scrubbing the bathroom floor. Has to be done. I'm happy to be here. Tu vois, je suis ici, donc il y avait ça à faire, je fais. C'est pas lourd, c'est sûr. Cet homme, je l'ai déjà rencontré. Souvenez-vous, au matin du troisième jour du forum, il distribuait les badges aux participants, déjà bénévolement. Là, j'ai un peu chaud, je suis fatigué. Mais sinon, ça va. Mais sinon, c'est vrai que j'ai pas envie non plus de faire tout le temps. Ouais. Ici, je trouve à faire aussi, tu vois. Ouais. Mais des trucs comme ça précis, je choisis de le faire, je dis bon. Je le fais avec un enjeu, un truc, tu vois, d'essayer de, d'apporter des choses, de voir comment ça m'apporte des trucs et de voir dans ma vie, voilà, comment ça m'apporte ouais. des, des choses C'est vrai. Euh, très concrètes. Ah oui, vraiment, euh, du fait que euh, déjà, je peux partager avec des gens. Mm. Puis il y a une personne qui est là quand même, comme un coach, tu vois, qui suit. On partage des choses, on dit des choses par rapport à notre vie, on met des enjeux, des trucs. En fait, ça m'a vraiment bougé. Moi, j'ai vu que ça a vraiment bougé. Mais heureusement, concrètement, parce que tu vois, des fois, on peut dire oui, ça bouge. Mais... This is so sad. This is so heartbreaking. This video clip is such a good example. If you, you don't even have to have been um, like scrubbing floors in a in landmark forum to understand what's going on here. 
Like he is just, it's just showing you that your work, your labor is being exploited and you really feel so grateful for the, like the most, you know, any task, just clean the floor of the toilet. And you're so grateful for this because might, you might want run into one of the coaches and just by being here, just by cleaning the floors of the bathroom, you might have a chance conversation with someone who will drop a nugget of wisdom and, oh, you, you don't even understand how much this has changed my life. Look at how far I've come. I'm just deeper and deeper into this cult. It's about personal development. All of us work here as volunteers. Nobody's getting paid. Ah oui, vraiment, hein, ça m'a... Ça me fait bouger les choses. Ouais, ça m'a vraiment dit que tu étais percé. Parce que tu, tu t'entraînes à vivre autrement. A breakthrough. Always with the breakthrough. Ah, moi avant, tu sais. Ouais, je sais. Soudain, notre conversation est interrompue. Un homme passe la tête. Oui, donc voilà. Bah, c'est rutilant, bravo. Ah, bah, c'est rutilant. J'ai pas mis la, de l'eau exprès. Parce que quand tu fais l'eau pour sécher, ça va être la fin du monde. Donc, je fais tout avec le produit, mais c'est propre. Avec... Partout où j'ai fait ça, j'ai enlevé le plus que je pouvais. C'est un superviseur, lui aussi est bénévole. En fait, sa mission est de surveiller le travail de Philippe. Des bénévoles, des assistants, constamment surveillés par d'autres bénévoles. Une autre facette de l'entreprise Landmark. Also a cult tactic, because this doesn't happen. You don't have somebody overseeing, one person overseeing each person's behavior. Pick a cult, any cult, and you'll see this is just like Landmark Forum. <laughs> I got to read your comments here. We're getting, we're getting closer to the end of this. I'm pretty sure this is why they have so many lawyers at their disposal to keep dis, uh, dis, discover off the internet. Yeah. It's not just superiority. It's more insidious than that. It goes on long enough with enough words. And one day you can't even communicate your experiences with people outside the cult. Exactly. A core group of cult adherents can be gradually dissociated from external reality and reformed into deployable agents and or de facto slaves and or expendable combatants, etc. They pay almost no one. What's his name from earlier? Elaine wasn't paid. I wonder. I bet you Elaine was paid. I would bet Elaine was paid, but I don't know. David says, core cult adherents further the hidden criminal objectives of their leaders, completely dependent on a collective paranoid delusion of absolute moral and intellectual supremacy. Erica says, I cannot tell you how close this is to evangelical Christianity. That's why it's like landmark form. You have nothing to worry about because you're exactly like every other fucking cult out there. Evangelical Christianity. You see MLMs, you see these MLM coaching calls. You're just one of many. Yawn, same tactics, same abuse, same exploitation. It's just going on and on. Core cult adherence group delusion becomes fundamental to the maintenance of their individual self-esteem identity and related psychological function. En tout dans Landmark en ce moment. Du bénévolat accompli au siège même d'une entreprise commerciale, est-ce bien légal Les policiers des renseignements généraux, dans une note confidentielle consacrée à Landmark, s'inquiètent en tout cas des collaborateurs non déclarés en contravention avec le Code du travail. Le document date de 1994. La situation n'est donc pas nouvelle. Plus récemment, le That was like 10 years or 9 years. This was either made in 2003 or 2004. So they knew about this since 1994. What has been done? You know, another option for landmark is just declare yourself a religion. Get tax-free status. I wonder if there's an organization out there that does similar things, that has done this, that maybe you could model your behavior on. 
Maybe you've already modeled your behavior on it. Oh shit. What's the, what's the name of it? I think there's something out there already that exists, but I just, the name just escapes me. It, it rhymes like with biology. It has like science in it. I don't, Oh, maybe it'll come to me. <laughs> Rapport de la commission d'enquête de l'Assemblée nationale consacrée au secte et l'argent va souligner le problème une nouvelle fois, mais sans rien changer apparemment. Pour faire connaître l'organisation et donc pour recruter, les méthodes sont variées. Aujourd'hui, par exemple, on me propose ouais. d'organiser une soirée à domicile. Tu as parlé du programme de présentation des forums à domicile euh, Non. C'est quoi Jusqu'à quelle heure euh, ben, Je vais faire un format action tout à l'heure, mais je vais manger à, vers, à 6 heures. 6 heures, tu vas manger Ouais. Bah, Peut-être on aura quelques minutes avant de pas manger, sinon ce sera ouais. on un rendez-vous. Bah, c'est un truc dont je m'occupe, ouais. et c'est euh, la possibilité d'organiser une présentation du forum chez soi. D'accord. D'organiser ça comme un projet, d'inviter quelques amis, un animateur qui vient... Et en même temps, tu as un enjeu, toi, et d'organiser un événement qui soit sympa, que tu puisses inviter, je sais pas, 3-4 amis, famille. Oh, 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 you, this is exactly like, this is, I don't know if you're having the same reaction I am. I can barely keep my, I'm just like, oh, this is exactly like fucking MLM. Wow, it's a possibility. You can do it. Have a nice event. Invite three or four friends. They can invite three or four friends. In an endless chain. <laughs> Bon. Dans ton appartement. Et, euh, et vous venez à combien chez moi bah Non, mais c'est toi qui décide. Ouais. Il y a juste un animateur qui vient. D'accord. Réunion de présentation, échange avec ses proches, coup de téléphone à la famille ou aux amis. C'est pour ça que c'est mieux d'appeler d'abord des gens que tu as dans tes cartes d'adresse. Tout est bon. Et pour oh, faire connaître. From your address book, always with the people, your warm market, your family and friends, always. <laughs> Isn't this nuts? It's the same. Landmark est recruté toujours plus d'adeptes. Chacun participe, le patron comme les bénévoles. C'est d'ailleurs là leur principale mission quand ils sont au siège. Mon travail de petit comptable ne me protège pas. Sans cesse, l'organisation me rappelle dès que je manque un cours. Donc communicateur euh, et je me propose donc de te faire un résumé de la séance donc tu peux me rappeler il m'est également demandé d'enrôler en permanence autour de moi le harcèlement est permanent c'est pas harassment Laurent c'est misinterprétation ils sont juste trying to do what's best for you Laurent ça me to me like you're a stinker thinker Sounds to me like you might have some limiting beliefs, which is all the more reason why you need to get your ass back at Landmark headquarters and get another course. They're just trying to help you. Come on. They're not harassing you. Sounds like you're going to destroy the microphone. C'est ça parce que vous aviez des personnes déjà invitées ou des personnes à contacter. Un jour, on me demande de rappeler pour un stage de perfectionnement. Landmark Education. On m'offre de m'investir davantage dans la compagnie en suivant un bien étrange cours. Invest in myself, attending a very strange course called the ILP. No way. Oh my God. Okay. What is ILP? I'm thinking NLP. I'm also thinking of ILT. So what is this? An invest in himself. It's not an expense, an investment. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Cours, appelé l'ILP. Oui, Laurent Oui. Je voulais te parler de, euh, de venir à une présentation de l'ILP. L'ILP, rappelle-moi, c'est quoi C'est le, le programme le plus remarquable et le plus fou qu'on fait chez Landmark Education. C'est un entraînement de maîtrise dans les conversations d'enrôlement et d'inscription. D'accord. <laughs> it's like we go we go hard for 90 days that's like eric warre it's like the french version of eric warre <laughs> he's got his start in landmark for him it's like it's the most crazy program ever it's like the mastery of enrolling and recruiting all your friends and family you go hard <laughs> this could be mlm this is nuts situé de quatre week-ends 
qui sont à Amsterdam. Ça dure combien de temps ce programme Le programme, euh, ça c'est quelque chose, hein. ça dure six mois. Six mois Ouais. Six mois de travail non rémunéré pour le compte de Landmark Éducation. Une proposition que je vais refuser, comme toutes les autres d'ailleurs. Mon infiltration dure depuis un mois maintenant. Ce soir, j'ai rendez-vous avec l'un des participants du forum, ce fameux week-end de trois jours où tout a commencé. Il s'agit... We gotta give, like, a big round of applause to Laurent for... He's lasted a month in Phil trading Landmark Forum. Like, this is pretty badass. I bet he did not know what he was getting into. Holy shit. He imagine a month? These have to be taking all these messages all the time and having to put up the act. He's like interviewing these people, scrubbing the bathroom floors. There are like 25 people crammed into this office and some of them are supervising each other. He's like, I'm in a fucking cult. Oh, Laurent, I hope you're doing okay. I hope he went on a all expenses paid trip and had a great time after all this. Oh my goodness. This is hardcore. This guy is badass. <sighs> de ce médecin, père de famille, qui était venu raconter sur scène devant tout le monde, les retrouvailles avec son fils. Ce stage a bouleversé sa vie, dit-il. Du coup, il va m'avouer s'être également lancé dans une grande opération de recrutement. Quand je suis sorti, j'étais surexcité. Surexcité. Mais en même temps, comme je sais que c'est mon caractère de vouloir imposer aux autres, je me suis dit, cette fois-ci, tu fais pas la connerie d'imposer en disant je vous allez tous faire ça, c'est formidable. J'ai essayé et j'ai réussi à faire l'enrôlement, c'est-à-dire aux gens, j'ai vécu une expérience formidable, j'aimerais bien que vous la viviez, je ne veux pas vous l'imposer, je ne veux pas que ce soit parce que c'est moi qui vous dis que vous le fassiez pour avoir la paix, c'est vraiment partager ça, ça me fera du bien. Voilà. Ça fait du bien I don't want you to do it, remember this is just for you, I'm doing this for you, I just want you to be at peace. The manipulation, and it's a doctor. So he has that credibility. Oh, my dad always said I was in the business of being me. David Breer says the only difference between the Landmark cultic racket and MLM cultic rackets is the scale of the operation. Landmark is tiny in comparison. Teensy fucking weensy. Landmark is like, it's like a little spit. It's like, When I'm like getting excited, I'm like frothing at the mouth and one falls out, lands on my water bottle and I pick it up after the stream. I'm like, oh shit, I wonder if anybody saw that. That's landmark. MLM is like <laughs> the whole house. <laughs> they don't change the tactics because they work, but thanks to anti-MLM, they will be done. Positive thinking. It's so like MLM, except when there isn't an obvious top job position evident. None of them see it that way. Yeah. Poor Laurent. I know. Laurent, you're a hero. Whatever happened to you? Oh, we hope you're doing okay. MLM cultic racketeering has succeeded in infiltrating traditional culture and growing to scale where the truth has become almost unthinkable. And I think we can all agree to that, too. Is he even saying that? Like, I mean, a lot of this shit I say... It's the stuff that I learned in Rank Makers. But it's true. Like, you can still use it. Like, I can't stand saying, does that make sense? But it can be helpful to say, does that make sense? You know, I think we can all agree. <laughs> That's another one. Mais ce médecin ne fait pas venir que ses kids, his wife, his assistants. He enrolled everyone because this is a once in a lifetime ground floor opportunity. This has completely changed my life. It's transformed my life. I'm ecstatic. Oh my God. This is so brutal. Here I am an ex hun saying this is so brutal. The irony. <laughs> make this shit up you know it's pretty fucking bad when that's the commentary going about landmark you're in big shit when anti-mlm is saying it's bad it's pretty fucking bad <laughs> mise en confiance par notre expérience commune 
il va me révéler ce soir faire du prosélytisme bien au-delà du cercle familial. Ton associé, c'est un, un, un chirurgien Oui. Elle s'est inscrite aussi au programme ouais. enfin, Elle n'est pas inscrite encore, hein. mais elle va venir à la présentation. Il y a beaucoup de médecins là, ici. Ouais, il y en a plein. Elle n'a pas encore inscrite, mais si elle veut être payée, elle va venir à la présentation. Elle va venir à cette présentation, parce que après ça, je vais rejoindre Optivia. <laughs> I'm actually a plastic surgeon, like weight loss. Like I do that kind of like, I just like cut off like shit that people doesn't want. And then I say to them, well, now you don't have to, you know, you can put me out of a job. I sell Optivia. You can just eat 600 calories a day with all our powdered feedings. Feedings. <laughs> my own, my precious. You can make a lot of extra money this way too. You could become a coach. You can't become a surgeon, but that's okay. When I was in Rank Makers, we were taught that if you were a doctor, not to say that you were a doctor. How fucked up is this? You'd say that you work as at, the, at a hospital or you work in the medical field. <laughs> Because the whole point is duplication. You need to fool people that you don't want to come across as an expert. Because if somebody knew that you were a surgeon, this was for multi-level marketing. They would think, well, there's no way I could recruit people and do this business because I'm not a surgeon. So you need to deceive people and say, well, I work at the hospital or I work um, in the medical field. So then people can believe that they can duplicate the system that you're doing. But with this, can you imagine him coercing people? Your boss coming to you, who's a surgeon saying, come to this presentation. And there are people, there are companies that have forced their employees to go to Landmark for training. And they're like, this is a fucking cult. And they're like, no, it's not. It's completely transformed my life. Don't listen to all the negative haters and the stinker thinkers that are on the internet. We would never do anything like that. Have they tried it? Have they taken our course? I didn't think so. <laughs> so then people are advised to get a new job because they, it's a cult. There's no talking with somebody when they're in a cult. They're like, nope. Oh, you're evil. Oh, you're trying to sabotage our organization. It's like, why the fuck are you trying to pressure all of your employees to take this, this shit where people, where this is documented. This is a documentary. <laughs> That's what you think is okay to run your company like this. Holy fuck. You've got problems. Yeah, I could interest you in a new company, a new venture. I'm playing around with. It's called HAP. High altitude potatoes. You could already use the skills that you have, that you've sharpened that ax, cutting down the resistance with landmark form, and join a new opportunity. One that would impact even more people, bring more value into the world. All those skills that you've finally honed in personal development, just think what you could bring to the world. There are so many people out there that need what you have, but we arm you with something even more. Potatoes. Nobody's allergic to them, not like peanuts. Everybody loves potatoes. <laughs> At high altitude potatoes, we don't even need to do these courses like this. It's all online. Les médecins, t'as vu les infirmières, les médecins, les psychiatres Comment ça se fait qu'il y a autant de médecins et infirmières Parce qu'on le revit tous au contact de la merde. Quand tu vas avoir épuisé tous les traitements, par exemple, pour un patient euh, qui, euh, qui sont inefficaces, alors ils vont, qu'est-ce qu'on fait On laisse tomber, on fait rien, on s'en fout. Ben non, t'es toujours lupiné par ça. Je peux pas. Et dans quelques secondes, ce médecin va m'avouer qu'il vient d'envoyer chez Landmark Éducation son premier patient. Tu vas partager ça avec le patient. Et les mecs, je peux te dire comme en roulement, là, c'est génial. Et donc, du coup, si tu vois un patient... Euh... Je vais te dire, ces gars sont bons pour l'enrôlement. Je veux dire, ils me croient. Je suis leur chirurgien, je suis un docteur. Vous savez, c'est magnifique. Ces gars, ils sont bons pour l'enrôlement. Ils font tout ce que je dis. C'est like fucking amazing. I just never realized I could just like tap into this flow of like so many people. Here I was living in scarcity and I just realized the abundant river just flowed right in front of me. All my staff that work for me, that I'm like their fear that they're going to lose their jobs. My wife, my kids, my patients. <laughs> I've hit the mother load. Sign me up for high altitude potato. You can be at the ground floor ground floor opportunity. It hasn't launched yet. We're still in pre-launch. You could be recruiting everybody in France. <laughs>
You could be at the top of the pyramid. We're definitely not a pyramid scheme. Pyramid schemes don't sell potatoes. Have you ever heard of any pyramid scheme selling a potatoes? I didn't think so. Comme ça, c'est-à-dire qu'une fois, j'ai dit bon allez, je peux pas le laisser passer à côté de ça, celui-là ça se voit trop qu'il en a besoin. Donc j'en ai parlé, mais j'ai noyé le poisson. J'ai dit, ce que dont vous auriez besoin c'est de relaxation, de confiance en vous. Euh, ah oui, disait le poisson, je dis mais il y a un truc qui peut vous intéresser, c'est ça. Oh my god, he's talking about how he manipulated his patient into getting to landmark for him. I know he needs it. You just brought him into a cult and you're a doctor. Well, I hope you got out and I hope you got help for reconciling what you did to your patient. How many patients this guy recruited over the years? That was his first one. Bet you it wasn't his last. I knew he needed it. How did you know he needed it? Because when, when you're in a cult, everybody needs it. Unless you're an uncoachable negative demon hater that vibrates at a low frequency. All those unsuccessful people out there that have miserable lives, just like toiling around, rolling around in the dirt, bottom feeders, they have no joy unless they've been in your cult. Which cult is that? Landmark, Monate, Rank Makers, Arbonne, Herbalife, Saint Makeup. <laughs> Which one? Which one is the best cult? My cult is different. I mean, my pyramid scheme is different. I mean, my personal development company is different. Now we know. Je ne sais pas ce qu'il a fait, je ne me suis pas renseigné pour savoir, tu vois. Je n'ai pas assumé la responsabilité ouais. jusqu'au bout. Mais tu aurais aimé qu'il le fasse Ah oui, le mec il en a besoin, je vais te dire. S'il ouais. fait, le mec il va être transformé. End part one and I don't think there's a part two. Darn it. So that's it, we got through it. I hope you enjoyed this. Shout out to Champagne Hand for um, letting me know that this even existed. Oh my God, are you serious? Keith Raniere was in Landmark? Well, he was in Amway. That's how he got his start. Thanks, Amway. Thanks for giving us Keith Raniere. You know, that's how he got his start. Learned about that. So it was Amway, then it was Consumer Byline, then it was whatever else after that. And then it was ESP. Nexium. Champagne hand. Yes, Landmark is small in the global scope, except that when these stories actually make it to light and Landmark has successfully squashed a lot of them, those of us directly affected affected or vindicated. Yeah, I, I understand. That's how I feel that about rank makers. You know, there's like, there's multi-level marketing, this whole massive thing. Then there's the group I was a part of. These are people that are were my friends. And as time goes by, you know, I haven't talked to them. I don't know if they'll ever think of me as a friend or if they'll think of me as a hater, but I feel I have an obligation to at least try. Who the fuck else is going to do it, you know? And maybe it's a fool's errand, but while I'm making videos, I'm going to, I'm going to at least try. At least I'm like out here. If they ever escape, they'll know that I was trying to reach them and that I care about them, you know? And, and so I get that. I, I do understand that. This is such a good comment too. this about the, the truth being unthinkable. I want to read it. MLM cultic racketeering has succeeded in infiltrating traditional culture and growing to a scale where the truth had become almost unthinkable. It's such a good comment to read again, you know, because you see it with multi-level marketing. I mean, this is what you're talking about, multi-level marketing, but you see it when you talk about, you know, using the word cult or brainwashing, you're like, no, 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 this isn't a cult. That's so ridiculous. The truth is unthinkable. And the, the falseness, the lie, the big lie is more believable than the truth. No, this is an industry. This is a business. This is a business model. And then you're the one saying, it's a cult. This is brainwashed. It's flipped. 25 years ago, I was generally treated as though I was crazy to say that Amway is a cult, but I, and I was, but I was very much alone. Fortunately, times have changed. David, thank you so much for speaking out so long ago and continuing to, you've helped me and you continue to help many people. Hopefully, you know, more and more people are coming forward and it's becoming more like common just to be like a uh, scam way, <laughs> Amway, the mothership. Amway the pyramid scheme. If my boss tells me it'll cost me 395 bucks to change my life, I'm going to thank him for the bonus. <laughs> I sell post-it notes. I make a lot of extra money recruiting people into Elomir. 
And then you just stick it on your tongue. Everybody loves potatoes. It's true. All you landmark people, I know you're creeping on here thinking I'm a hater, but I've got an investment opportunity for you. You think this is just jest. Oh, she thinks she's being funny. She's being sarcastic. I'm not. <laughs> it's a very real business opportunity here. <laughs> I'm still waiting for your self-help book about those potatoes and how that can transform my life. The sad thing is I'm 100% sure it would be possible to recruit a high altitude potato cult. I know. I know I I can win. I want it at the ground floor. <laughs> Keep in mind, I have made those um, certificates available. So there's the high altitude potato certificates. And I even put a, um, a spelling mistake, just like we're taught in multi-level marketing, to get more engagement on our posts. Be like, did you know you've put two thes in there? <gasps> oh, no, I didn't. But we'll just like take engagement any which way we can. So I have posted them on my Instagram profile there's like under the highlights and I have a P for potato makers <laughs> so I put like the certificates I've made thus far I think I've got four of them I recently made a new one so the one is if it, I mean so anyway you can go see if you want to check it out if not no big deal her father has been in uh landmark that long or and my uncle has been in the Waldorf school even longer are there any high altitude potatoes on the ground floor? Now, that's a very perceptive question. Because while there could be a ground floor opportunity, it would be ironic if high altitude potatoes were on the ground. Because that would seem to contradict the very existence of a high altitude potato if it's low on the ground. You see, most people wouldn't understand the difference between high altitude potatoes and the ground floor opportunity. Some people might, but most people won't. Does that make sense? I'm grateful to have uh, the internet now, which makes it possible for to us to connect and share info. Thank you. Space Pastry, I was invited to a landmark meeting a few years ago, but I declined. Still got scammed by other things though, but I'm glad I didn't get sucked into, the, into landmark. I'm glad you didn't either. And it's important to have these conversations out here, reducing the stigma of shame, knowing that we have been scammed or if you've avoided a scam, just to make this part of our normal conversation instead of saying, no, if you haven't participated in it, then you don't know. You don't have the right to have a, a comment on this. It's uh, like how Susan Dones put it. You see a sinkhole, you're going to, she's like, how I feel to stand in front of the sinkhole and point out to people, this is a sinkhole. Avoid the sinkhole. <laughs> You don't need to crawl in the sinkhole and lay in the sinkhole and roll around in the bottom of the sinkhole to understand it's a sinkhole. You can see it's a sinkhole. <laughs> you can walk around it. <laughs> you can hop over it. You can turn around and walk the other way. You can tell people it's a sinkhole. Oh, so grateful I'm hugging you. Ray Blair says, had just moved to U.S. from Mexico when the neighbor persuaded me to attend Landmark enrollment event. Just thought that's what Americans did. Self-help. Seemed like nerds part of why did I why I did not join. Champagne hand ha says, hi, Landmark. <laughs> we love and appreciate you. If you are starting to wake up, um, please know that you're not alone. There is a stigma of shame attached to being in these things, but it's not by people on the outside judging you. It's by the cult itself. It's meant to keep you in and it's meant to keep you from critically thinking and it's meant to keep you silent. You'll be told things like, if you're going to leave, then just leave quietly. Don't burn those bridges. You don't know what might happen in the future. A lot of us here are familiar with multi-level marketing. I'm an anti-MLM creator, and we see so many similarities with what you've gone through and what we've experienced too. So it's a bridge. You're not alone. Erica printed yours. <laughs> right on, Erica. <sighs> Instead of word salad, it's potato salad. Brilliant. Absolutely. They'll say, can you imagine it'd be like, you know, the behavior information, thought, emotional control. We're going to show you, this is going to be the first MLM that is not a pyramid scheme and is not a commercial cult. We're going to show you step-by-step step with each part of the bite model, how we're not a commercial cult, all with potatoes. Oh, it's going to really fuck every, everything up then. You can literally have a degree in psychology and your family will still try to tell you to think in their indoctrinated way because that's what cults do. All right. Thank you so much. Four, four hours seems to be the sweet spot for me. It's just over four hours. Four hours, three minutes and 21 seconds and counting. 
I want to thank you so much for watching this and all of your comments. Um, they're so good. There's a lot of things that I, um, I miss and maybe other people miss as they're watching this. And it just gives more insight, different perspectives. This is what it's about, the community, the like-minded community of potatoes. <laughs> How to bite it, how to bite it to potatoes. <laughs> You're right. Differently normal. Potato salad, the new product from high altitude potatoes. Charlie Obo says, thanks for the live. Thank you for watching with me. Thank you for um, watching any of my videos. Thank you for your comments. And um, as always, I want to, not as always, a lot of the times I like to end with just a special message for people that were part of my cult, the one I'm speaking out against rank makers, a lot of people are continuing to wake up and I, I just want to tell you, and this, I mean, this can apply to you if you're not in rank makers, you know, you're, you're going to see what I mean when I say these things, because they're the same as what we see with landmark and all these other cults. So take what, take what you can from it. But if you are in rank makers and you're starting to wake up, I understand this is a lot to take in. Like you've, saw in this video with Jocelyn, it feels like, you know, you're being attacked with this information and she can't take it in. She's unable to hold two things at the same time that are contradictory. She can't do it. And she really loves and respects, admires, you know, Elaine, but she's seeing evidence of other things going on. The format, I, don't, I disagree with. It was really antagonistic. They don't understand what it's like to be in a cult. The person sitting beside her in Scientology sure as hell did. And I wish they'd, they'd given her more airtime. Maybe they did and they just cut it out. Maybe if she'd had more input, they wouldn't have treated um, Jocelyn like that. But you might be feeling like that. And I know that trying to make sense of what we've been part of is really hard. And you don't have to, you don't have to make decisions on things like, I have to know all the truth. I have to. I have to be an authority. I have to understand everything that's happened to me. I know that's what I felt like. <laughs> you might you might be feeling like that too. But I want you to I want you to know that it's okay not to fucking have a clue and just to be really confused and to have a lot of weird emotions going on. One of the things that I I've said in some videos too is that for me in, in order for me to speak out like I had to get strong. That's why I chose to get therapy. I needed it, but then I was like I'm going to get strong. This is the same thing as when I would train for triathlon. I'm going to do hill reps. I'm going to do shit that I don't want to do. And I'm going to get strong so I can like be the best on race day. And that's what I'm like, okay, then if this is what I need to do, then I'm going to get strong in order to speak out. And I want you to get strong in order to heal. And take taking time off social media is, is so good. Um, starting to listen to different anti-MLM podcasts, hearing other people's stories that you're not alone. You're like, oh my God, this is a similarity. This is something that happened to me. That's really helpful too. The other thing that I was, I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to own all my feelings about this, all the contradictory feelings as best I can, as I keep healing and moving through this. And there was a lot of contradictory feelings. I still have them and it's hard to put words to it it's hard to put trying it's hard to explain it because i felt and what i saw i thought there was like so much like respect and admiration same as jocelyn and it was a lie and it's hard for me to accept that people will choose to hurt other people and it's, it's hard when you've been a part of something that you felt so good about and that you've met some friends and maybe you still have those friends or maybe you really loved your products or you're trying to make sense of this whole thing. It's just like, whoa, 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 what's going on? And then also, also hold at the same time, because both of them are true, the reality that horrific abuse has gone on to people that you've known and maybe you called your friend and now you call them a hater. Now you're like, oh, shit. This was abuse. Oh my God, what have I been a part of? It's okay to hold all those feelings at once. Um, please know that you're not alone. And thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.